Chapter 1241 Inheritance of the Blade. Numerous space entrances radiating golden lights were suspended in mid-air, side by side. There was a total of 820 of them. This is only the basic inheritance. I did not expect to find so many different kinds. Lo Feng started to take a concrete form. Suspended in mid-air, his gaze swept across the doors radiating light as he carefully observed and tried to understand what kind of inheritance each entrance represented. The basic inheritance. This was not that important to the pulse of Duan Dong River, so it would not mean much even if it were to be passed on to outsiders. That was why it was used to conduct the final round of selection. Yet this, basic inheritance, that could be passed to outsiders, because it meant little to the ancient civilization, was something extraordinary to Lo Feng and the various groups of powers in Universe Ocean. After all, this ancient civilization had been overwhelmingly powerful. The major groups can be categorized into close combat type, long-range attack type, refining true treasure type, automaton type, and miscellaneous type. Lo Feng's eyes swept through everything. For those items used to control material objects, as well as some other strange battle methods, Lo Feng classified all of them under the miscellaneous type, close combat type, Long-range attack type, and refining true treasure type were simple, and the automaton type was used to control automaton weapons. On a small scale, examples of automaton weapons could be thermal weapons that earthlings used as firearms. On a larger scale, the entire universe boat could be considered a battleship, which was also a way of utilizing an automaton type true treasure. A battleship was an automaton type. When developed to its limit, it could be massive. The pulse of Duan Dong River had countless great beings, and some who had lived for endless years might have other interests. So leaving behind such an automaton type as basic inheritance was normal. Now it's time to choose an heir. Lo Feng carefully observed the entrance of every lighted door. Which is why I should choose what I am best at. If I were to choose something that I am unsure of, I'm afraid just going through the entrance would take me a long time. The basic inheritance is merely the appetizer. The core inheritance of the pulse of Duan Dong River is the Grand Banquet. Lo Feng's eyes rested on one of the space entrances radiating light rays. That space entrance had some patterns on it. On closer inspection, one could vaguely see a blurred human figure holding a blade and violently killing life forms. This, apparently, belonged to one of the close combat types. The inheritance that consisted the use of blade. This is it. Lo Feng nodded to himself. Blade. Since he was young, he had been practicing blade techniques. Thereafter, he had acquired the ghost blade. Even after he came to own Shi Wu Wings, he continued to use blade techniques. The series of techniques consisting of golden light, fog light, and splitting gold were all considered blade techniques. Through the studies of diagrams of secret engravings, he had also created a blade technique. Throughout the entire universe ocean, his understanding of blades would have been rated as top-notch. Lord Duan Dong River, I have made my choice. Lo Feng turned to look afar and with reverence and said, It shall be the one behind me. Having said that, Lo Feng had made his way to stand outside the entrance of the inheritance of the blade. Behind Duan Dong River, there were over 200 great beings who instantly showed some displeasure. This was because they all wanted to choose the inheritance of the blade. Among all the universe supreme masters, the majority were engaged in close combat. Thus, the blade was definitely one of the major classes of weapons. Among the 200-odd great beings, many were skilled in the use of blades. They all wanted to choose the inheritance of the blade. It was a pity that every basic inheritance could only accept one candidate, so they had to choose something else. All right, blue blood, your turn to choose, Duan Dong River said. Yes, Lord Duan Dong River. Blue Blood Knight gave a slight bow, then he transformed into a streak of light, flew toward the suspended space entrances, and started to choose what was most suitable for him. Next, Water Song. The candidates were sequenced to make their choices based on their performance during the Rhinoceros Emperor game. 
Toward the latter part, the remaining candidates could only grit their teeth in unhappiness at the few choices that were left for them, all of which they were unskilled in. For instance, refining true treasure type. It was highly possible that the final heir would emerge only as they finally managed to figure out an inkling of what they were dealing with. Merely a short moment later, all the 200-odd great beings had made their choices. Every one of them were suspended before their chosen space entrance. All of you shall enter to start getting in contact with the basic inheritance. Duan Dong River instructed in an aloof manner. The moment an heir emerges, the rest of the candidates will be annihilated. Understood. Over 200 great beings bowed with great respect, then turned around to fly into the space entrances that were radiating golden rays. Duan Dong River watched the group of candidates enter with a complicated expression and mumble, to himself, space of inheritance is finally being used again. After how long? Just how long had it been? Much too long. So long that my memory has started to blur. When all of this ends, I can also face my own annihilation, as I no longer bear any shame toward my generations of ancestors. Lo Feng flew toward the space entrance, and suddenly, there was a change in time and space. This was a chaotic world. The surroundings below were filled with a chaotic airflow while the atmosphere above was pitch black. Only a single star hung high up, radiating light that shone upon everything beneath. A. Lo Feng was treading on the chaotic airflow while looking all around him. Where was the inheritance of the blade? Wa! The star right in the middle of the vast, dark sky suddenly shot out a visible light pillar that moved to envelop Lo Feng. He made no attempt to shun it away. The instant the light pillar enshrouded him, a cold, mechanical voice sounded. Core competence, activating the core competence basic inheritance. Hong. Instantly, a large quantity of information surged into Lo Feng's mind. Numerous blade manuals that were extremely detailed surged into his mind, from the understanding level for a universe night, to gradually deepening to the profundity of the blade, to eventually reaching the level of a universe supreme master. Every blade manual was composed from a different perspective. Some were based on the Golden Space Law, some were based on the water space law, and some were based on the earth space law. There was even a functional blade technique that was formed by combining the three most fundamental laws of gold, water, and earth. There were also some blade techniques that were formed by combining gold and time. There were all kinds of blade techniques, but without any laws, they could not be combined. A total of 360 blade manuals were transmitted into Lo Feng's mind at once, sending him into a daze. His brain seemed to slow down beneath the onslaught of information. As there was a tremendous amount of information in every manual, even if Lo Feng had his godly power and willpower to help him bear the load of the information, in flux, it would still take more than two days for complete transmission. Wow! This is simply amazing! Lo Feng was stupefied as he blinked. Within that endless time I have spent on studying Rhinoceros Emperor game, my achievement in studies of diagrams of secret engravings greatly improved, so if I want to create a combination that could qualify as a strongest technique, that should be quite easy. But if I want to create a technique at the level of a universe, supreme master, that would be quite impossible. Yet these 360 sets of manuals, Every one of them explained a blade technique that was at the level of a universe supreme master, and the instructions always started simple, progressing in complexity. Every manual contained a strongest blade technique that was not at all inferior to the very first axe technique that huge axe creator used. This blade manual did not just simply graze the surface level of a universe supreme master. It actually attained the limit of the highest level of a universe supreme master. Thus, it did not pale in comparison to the axe technique of huge axe creator. And a manual such as this, a total of 360 similar ones, was pure insanity. It was likely that not a single group could achieve such an accomplishment in the field of blades. Of course, these were blade techniques created by other great beings and not what Lo Feng had created. So even if he were to master the technique, ultimately, the force he executed would never be as powerful as that executed by its creator.
The ultimate technique that truly suited oneself would be one's own creation. Hong, Hong, Hong. Suddenly, the dazzling star in the dark night sky ejected three streams of brilliance. The three brilliant lights each contained a gigantic ice mountain. Three towering icebergs could be seen falling from the stars to land within the chaotic airflow. Every ice mountain was millions of kilometers tall and clear and transparent like crystal. Within every ice mountain, vague rays would fly by from time to time like meteors. Within the three icebergs, countless meteor-like rays were crisscrossing one another to form a beautiful picture. This was a gem that was nurtured by nature itself. You possess the core competence, so you are able to draw references from the 360 manuals left behind by generations of great beings, said the cold, mechanical voice. You are the first chosen candidate for this round of inheritance, so you can see the three mountains of blades. Every mountain of blades contains the engravings of the Law of Blades. The Law of Blades contains the ultimate power and reveals everything of the ultimate secrets. Now that you can see the three mountains of blades, you can learn from the 360 blade manuals and try to create a brand new blade technique. When your blade technique reaches the requirements, you will become the newly appointed heir to the inheritance of the pulse of Duan Dong River. When the cold, mechanical voice finished with its instructions, silence once again prevailed. Lo Feng blinked. Mountain of Blades? Lo Feng looked at the three mountains of blades before him. Within the three towering, crystal-clear icebergs, there were countless rays resembling meteors which were so dazzling and sparkling that the several laws that he had comprehended earlier were outshone. Every ray resembling a shooting star represented an engraving of law, and every bewitching ray contained an endless flow of mysteries. Simply unbelievable, it contains an ultimate power? Lo Feng muttered under his breath. I can feel its power. Indeed, it transcends any other law and seems to be filled with every other law possible. This was a power that transcended all the other laws. All great beings within the universe ocean had to undergo cultivation, during which they had to cultivate the path of laws. Only then could they gain the recognition of the primal universe to become universe knights and universe masters. But the engravings of this law, these beautiful engravings that took the form of meteor-like rays, were transcendent. What? Lo Feng expressed his astonishment. He had tried in vain to simulate the three mountains of blades for the virtual universe but was dealt a great shock instead. It was too difficult. Within every iceberg was a great quantity of meteor-like rays. Every moment, they were changing, and the changes were non-repetitive. Simulating a stationary image at a certain moment was a tough feat. It was even tougher to simulate a moving image that was changing every moment, unless he did not want to cultivate it further. For the moment, I can't simulate it further. Lo Feng shook his head. How about taking reference from the 360 manuals? How about viewing the mountains of blades? How about comprehending the blade techniques? Lo Feng held his breath. Since he was unable to simulate the mountains of blades for the virtual universe, he would give up on the simulation and put all his efforts into cultivation. Lo Feng's eyes drifted over to the three mountains of blades. Within the mountains of blades with frost-capped peaks, countless meteor-like rays were dancing. They were stunning. He could vaguely catch sight of the dancing rays of a blade as various blade techniques floated into view. Lo Feng could not withhold his shocked expression. These were, indeed, engravings of the laws of blades and definitely worthy enough to contain the ultimate power. Lo Feng was multitasking, though. While observing the mountains of blades, he was also studying the various blade manuals. Countless blade techniques flashed across his memory. He felt his heartbeats, and the countless meteor-like rays amidst the mountains of blades, seemed to faintly form blades that were moving, moving along with his heartbeats. Only upon understanding could one see the deeper secrets. These three mountains of blades were like three most ancient and powerful great masters of blades. Every blade had already reached its ultimate but was too profound to be fathomed. Lo Feng required the support from the 360 blade manuals to gradually unveil the three mountains of blades. 
In that process, Lo Feng's internalized information on blade techniques was continuously on the rise. Chapter 1242 Lo Feng's Blade Technique Lo Feng comprehended assiduously, up against the three ice mountains, any great being would pale in comparison. And those beautiful law engravings that resembled meteor-like rays embodied the final, true secrets. Just looking at them was a kind of enjoyment, and they enabled Lo Feng's understanding of blades to consistently increase by leaps and bounds. Immersed in the process of comprehending, Lo Feng hardly noticed half a year go by. Although it was said to be half a year, his remote ocean body was comprehending within a miniature universe, which therefore brought the interval up to as long as 5,000 years. Combination? Star River Master may be formidable, but his so-called combination of secret technique, River in the Dark, is beyond rigid. Lo Feng gently shook his head. First, it is similar to a miniature universe, a secret technique used to complement attacks. Although the combination was quite well done, the intention of forming this combination seems to arise from the need for a shortcut. This is the one true path we need to take if we want to come up with a combination of the strongest secret technique. A blade suddenly appeared in Lo Feng's hands. It was absolute guest, since he had gained crazy demon extermination godly armor. The strongest battle technique he wielded was naturally extermination god, so absolute guest was seldom used. Foggy light, Lo Feng whispered, I achieved a breakthrough for this technique and have brought it to the state of a strongest secret technique, so now, I shall use foggy light to create a combination, because he was a high achiever in the studies of diagrams of secret engravings, he was able to comprehend quite a few strongest secret techniques while in the boat of mausoleum. He did likewise for foggy light, which was originally an ultimate secret technique of a universe overlord. He improved it to perfection, and thus, it reached the state of a strongest secret technique of a universe master. Standing above the chaotic airflow and looking far into the distance at the three ice mountains, Lo Feng's hand, which was holding absolute guest blade, suddenly moved. Wah! A hazy thread suddenly appeared in mid-air, left in mid-air by his blade. It was like a dream, it seemed to be filled with the essence of foggy light. Shortly after, another appeared. Thread after thread appeared continuously, instantly, a tremendous number of dreamlike threads, enough to cover the entire space between heaven and earth, appeared in mid-air. As time passed, the speed at which the threads were being formed quickened, and the power of the threads grew more terrifying as they continued to burst out while gaining strength. Hong! Streams of hazy threads resembling fog continued to appear until, finally, they all transformed into a shadow of a blade that seemed to fill up the entire void space. As this blade shadow brushed past, it seemed to clean up the entire void space as though it were a piece of cloth. It wiped away everything. It might have seemed like a simple virtual shadow, but it wielded a power that could make one shudder and tremble. The first move, shall be named Foggy Light Void Space. Lo Feng laughed lightly, creating a combination of strongest secret techniques was nothing too difficult for him these days, especially after spending such a long time on cultivation through concurrently studying the Rhinoceros Emperor game and the secret techniques of the Ninth Deep Abyss. Be it the ability to comprehend or the ability to create secret techniques, he had long been highly accomplished. If it was merely to create a combination of strongest secret techniques, Lo Feng was capable of going faster. Yet, after learning the secrets the three ice mountains contained and comprehending the 360 blade manuals, Lo Feng was no longer interested in resorting to such substandard shortcut combinations of strongest secret techniques like river in the dark. He was more oriented toward using a true combination of ultimate techniques. The concept of foggy light void space was achieved by continuously superimposing and overlapping until the perfect limit was met. Then the ultimate power would be released. That cold, mechanical voice suddenly resounded. The first move of candidate's blade technique has been created. Lo Feng was shocked and looked up at that star in the dark sky with a slight frown.
Seems like the blade technique I created is still under supervision. Whether it was truly his creation or not was, in fact, easy to tell. Executing a technique that he created by himself compared to executing someone else's creation that he had acquired resulted in differing amounts of power being released. My combination of strongest secret techniques has yet to meet the requirements? The expectations must be very high. Lo Feng was no longer complacent over his creation. Foggy light void space. He continued to comprehend the three mountains of blades. Time passed, and the more he studied the inheritance of the blade, the more profound Lo Feng felt it was. To the extent that he started to feel dissatisfied with his earlier creation. Foggy light void space. He wanted to create an even stronger blade technique. Within Huge Axe Creator's miniature universe, remote ocean body sat cross-legged with both eyes looking into the void space. A trace of godly power took the form of a fleeting human shadow that was executing moves from the various sets of blade techniques while numerous blade techniques were being created. The diagrams of secret engravings were extremely skilled in the creation of secret techniques. To begin with, even though Lo Feng's starting achievements in the diagrams of secret engravings were merely at the level of a universe knight, he was still able to create golden light, which was an ultimate secret technique of a universe master, albeit by a stroke of luck. To create secret techniques according to the laws and studying the diagrams of secret engravings to create secret techniques were fundamentally two different methods. Between the two, diagrams of secret engravings were more direct. At that moment, Lo Fengs was changing his mind as sets of blade techniques were emerging at an extremely fast rate, so fast that he practically found it unbelievable. This was how impressive the studies of diagrams of secret engravings was. Compared to the 360 blade manuals, my blade technique is shabby. The path of the golden space should be much stronger. Should be. Should be. Lo Feng felt a vague emotion stirring in his heart. After he spent such a long time comprehending the three mountains of blades, that feeling got even stronger, as though the burning passion in his heart was being suppressed by a layer that seemed impenetrable and impossible to break through. Within him, that feeling remained in deliberation. As his comprehension of blade techniques deepened and his achievements in the diagrams of secret engravings increased, nearing the limit of a universe master, Lo Feng attained a clearer comprehension of what his next move should be. In the blink of an eye, nine years had passed. In the land of inheritance, standing on the chaotic airflow, Lo Feng drew absolute guest blade from behind. Clang! The sound of the blade being wielded was transmitted throughout the void space. Upon flipping my palms, there will be one universe. Lo Feng was silently chanting. Rise! His blazing godly power was like the vast sky, and with Lo Feng as the core, it spread out to enshroud a part of the void space to form a world of its own. Shortly after, this miniature universe suddenly shrank and collapsed. As it collapsed, it transformed into streams of dazzling golden blade rays. Altogether, 10,081 streams of golden blade rays were densely packed together, complementing one another as they hacked toward the core position. It was like a giant star that had been destroyed, expanding one moment, then shrinking and transforming into a black hole the next. Its power was simply unbelievable. Lo Fang's face registered a highly emotional expression as he whispered, This move has met the limit of the path of the golden space. The evolution of the golden space. 10,081 possibilities, all combined into one move. Only the destruction of the universe will be able to bear the weight of its power. A power so strong that it is even much stronger than the self-destruction of great being. This is a true combination of ultimate techniques. It may even be a notch higher than Five Chaos Master's ultimate technique, which he created with adherence to the Five Great Combination Laws. This move shall be called, Golden Universe. Excitement. Sobbing and sighs. Upon creating this move, Lo Feng knew that this move, which he had finally created upon exhausting all the comprehended secrets, was the true limit of the path of the golden space on its use of secret techniques.
It was truly the one perfect move he had created. The second move of Candidate's Blade technique has been created, announced that cold, mechanical voice. Lo Feng looked up at that star in the dark sky and waited silently for a moment. Then he frowned. Huh? I have already created this move, yet I am still unable to meet Duan Dong River's expectation? This, this, even this is not enough to meet Duan Dong River's expectation? Could it be I must create a secret technique of a universe supreme master before I can meet his expectations? Foggy light void space was a stellar combination of ultimate techniques. It was stronger than river in the dark and probably comparable to five chaos masters great extermination ultimate technique. And golden universe was truly a perfect move he created upon exhausting all that he comprehended to meet the limit of the golden space. The way Lo Feng saw it. This was, theoretically, the true ultimate limit that he could reach for a secret technique at the level of a universe. Supreme Master. There was no way he could further surpass it. If these two moves he had created were still not enough to meet the requirements, there had to be something of a higher level that he had to create. Universe Supreme Master? Lo Feng was frustrated. What should I do? Becoming a universe supreme master was difficult. All the diagrams of secret engravings did not work out. With respect to the diagrams of secret engravings, Lo Feng's peak was only at the limit of a universe master. Other paths might also be as such, unless Lo Feng chose to take a whole new path. Maybe then he could possibly achieve a breakthrough and become a universe supreme master. If he was not a universe supreme master, yet he had to create a secret technique at the level of a universe supreme master, within the whole universe ocean, this could be said to be an impossible mission. Without a breakthrough, there was no way he could comprehend the secrets at that level. Of course, previously, when Lo Feng's achievement level in the studies of diagrams of secret engravings was only at the level of a universe knight, he had created golden light. Theoretically speaking, given his current achievement level in the studies of diagrams of secret engravings, which was near the limit of a universe master, it was possible for him to create a secret technique of a universe supreme master. Especially with the 360 blade manuals for reference and the three mountains of blades as guidance. Theoretically, it was possible, since Duan Dong River had made this arrangement, and with the three mountains of blades as guidance, Lo Feng should be able to create a much stronger move. However, there was no precedence for this in all of Universe Ocean. It was too difficult, I will have to take a gamble. Lo Feng gritted his teeth and decided to brave his way through it all. In another land of inheritance within the space of inheritance, the handsome blue blood knight looked at the two lofty ice mountains before him. Within these ice mountains, there were countless meteor-like light rays dancing everywhere. Even if he could not decipher the secrets they carried, he still found them to be extremely beautiful. I have a feeling. A move has reached the ultimate limit of the path of time and space. Blue Blood Knight mumbled to himself as he sought that feeling. In another land of inheritance, on a chaotic airflow, Dear Bugmaster sat cross-legged with brows furrowed in deep thought. Before him was a lofty ice mountain. With 36 manuals for reference, these law engravings contain the ultimate secrets, said Dear Bugmaster. I am a sixth-tiered universe master to begin with. I have very easily created a perfect secret technique that can be said to be at the level of a universe master, and even moved on to creating two kinds of secret techniques in succession of one another. But, I have yet to meet the expected requirements. Could it be I must create a secret technique of a universe supreme master? Dear Bug Master was frustrated. He was a sixth-tiered universe master and had lived long enough to know all the secrets required to create secret techniques at the level of a universe master. It was merely because a holy land universe was unable to breed universe supreme masters. Thus, he could only remain a universe master. Given his current power, if he were to be placed within the primal universe, he could be hopeful of breaking through and becoming a universe supreme master and his current power was an accumulation of his experience over umpteen reincarnation eras.
It was a rich accumulation, and this time around, he even had the help of Purple Moon Ancestor. Certainly, he would be able to achieve something remarkable. According to what Ancestor says, the law engravings are the true ultimate power. It is where all the laws are combined. With the help of the law engravings, it is indeed possible to comprehend, despite the difficulty involved. It all depends on one's ability to comprehend. Dear Bug Master was extremely frustrated. At that moment, several aged Universe Masters, particularly those from East Emperor Holy Land and Purple Moon Holy Land, who had already created many combinations of strongest secret techniques, all seemed to be stuck at the same threshold. It was just that those who passed the second bottleneck had 36 manuals for reference and an ice mountain to view. Those who passed the first bottleneck did not have any manual to start with only an ice mountain to view. Wishing to meet Duan Dong River's requirements merely based on this simple and basic inheritance was extremely difficult, yet not a single great being dared to show any hint giving up. They were all trying their best. All of them coveted that slightest trace of a possibility, the trace of a possibility of receiving the core inheritance of the pulse of Duan Dong River. Chapter 1243, A New Life. Unable to become a universe supreme master, yet having to create a secret technique that was on the level of a universe supreme master? This was like a gigantic barrier that nature had set before their paths, hindering Lo Feng, Dear Bug Master, Yu Zan Master, Blue Blood Knight, and the various other great beings. Within Universe Ocean, there could be simply no solution at all. Lo Feng's teacher, Primal Chaos City leader, would not be able to achieve it either, but now, Duan Dong River was obviously forcing them to succeed. Time flew by. Within the blink of an eye, another three decades passed. The virtual universe, Huge Axe Creator. Lo Feng sat cross-legged with a great quantity of three-dimensional, virtual shadows from the Rhinoceros Emperor game surrounding him. His brows were furrowed as he looked at the primitive giant. I have been thinking very hard, but I still cannot find a stronger blade technique. Would Huge Axe Creator like to give me some pointers on how I should advance? Huge Axe Creator, also seated cross-legged, replied, within that ancient civilization, the inheritance from the pulse of Duan Dong River is extremely powerful, so they set very stringent requirements for their heirs. For him to have such a demand, naturally there would be such a possibility. Lo Feng nodded, he was aware of that possibility. But where could he find it? He had been studying and pondering diligently but had made no progress at all. This feeling was antagonizing. Besides, according to the Golden Space Path, Golden Universe was theoretically at its perfect limit. How else could he achieve a breakthrough? If he himself could not find any traces of flaws, then there was no way he could further perfect it. The inheritance of the blade has bestowed you with 360 blade manuals and three mountains of blades, Huge Axe Creator prompted in a hushed tone. It must have its purpose for doing so. I am also aware that to achieve a breakthrough, I will need to take reference from the 360 blade manuals and the mountains of blades, said Lo Feng. But how can I do so when I cannot seem to find traces of any possible ways? Lo Feng felt helpless. After creating Golden Universe, it might have seemed as though three decades had passed, but in truth, 30 eras had gone by. It had been 30 eras, yet he had not made any progress. Without any sign of a breakthrough, how could he not feel discouraged? Hugh Jacks nodded. I have asked Teacher Origin before. Teacher Origin? Lo Feng's eyes lit up. Yes, Hugh Jacks nodded, then slowly said. Teacher Origin said, if you want a breakthrough, the source lies within the three mountains of blades. Lo Feng gave a slight frown as he muttered to himself in silence. The source was within the three mountains of blades? Huge Axe Creator continued to say, the three mountains of blades contain the ultimate mysterious existence that can possibly help you create a secret technique of the level of a universe supreme master, even though your achievement in the studies of diagrams of secret engravings is limited to the level of a universe master. 
This is what we mean by executing and creating, yet not necessarily truly understanding. Executing and creating, yet not necessarily truly understanding? Lo Feng nodded slightly. What teacher origin said makes sense, Lo Feng whispered. Previously, I was able to create golden light. Today I will be able to create something even stronger. Actually, judging from the experiences of countless great beings from the universe ocean, the possibility of creating a secret technique at the level of a universe supreme master was zero. Yet the three icebergs gave this situation a trace of hope. Difficult. Simply too difficult. It was not just Lo Feng who was stuck at this stage. There were a few other great beings from East Emperor Holy Land who were stuck at the same stage, an even Blue Blood Knight, who had spent 20 years to create a perfect secret technique at the level of a universe master, was stuck at the same stage. Ancestor, there is no hope at all. Blue Blood Knight sat on the leaf of a huge tree, filled with distress and anxiety. Painstakingly, I searched, yet I could not find any inspiration at all. Ancestor, Yan Zan Master also wore an anxious expression. East Emperor Holy Land has existed for an endlessly long time, and there wasn't a single time when a universe master could create a secret technique at the level of a universe supreme master. How am I going to achieve a breakthrough? Do please give me some guidance, ancestor. The other candidates simply sat cross-legged on the leaves of that huge tree and listened. This was within a certain space belonging to East Emperor Holy Land where time was accelerated by 10,000 times. The entire plane was mainly occupied by an ancient tree that had countless leaves. At that moment, the great beings, including East Emperor Ancestor himself, sat cross-legged on the tree leaves. Those are engravings of laws that you all have yet to come across before. East Emperor Ancestor's entire being radiated a faint green light, and he was seated far away, where he slowly said, Engravings of laws are where all the mysteries and secrets of laws can be found. With these engravings of laws as guidance, you will find that the door to progress will be opened for you. The group of great beings looked at one another. The door to progress would be open? Comprehend carefully. East Emperor Ancestor said without a second thought, Do not allow yourself to slacken. When someone among you has finally comprehended the secret technique of a universe supreme master, then it is time for the other candidates to all be annihilated. Understood. A few dozen candidates answered deferentially. Purple Moon Holy Land. Purple Moon Ancestor smiled and looked down at the various candidates. Since Duan Dong River gave you all mountains of icebergs, then by all means, the secret must lie within those engravings of the laws. Comprehend carefully, and you will gain something. Abandon all kinds of thoughts you had previously. Meticulously study and comprehend those engravings of laws from various perspectives. Dear Bugmaster was among the first few to answer. Understood. Great beings from other groups of powers of Universe Ocean were all at a loss for words when questioned by their own candidates. This was because even they had not seen those engravings of laws before, so they could only reply, since there is only a mountain of iceberg, then the path to take should naturally fall within the iceberg. We just have to comprehend carefully. The great beings who made it into the space of inheritance definitely gained much, especially the universe masters. Most of them originally only possessed the capability up to the fourth or fifth level, but under the guidance of the engravings of law, depending on the length of time spent, they were able to create, one by one, the most perfect combination of strongest secret technique at the level of a universe master. If they could make it out alive, all of them would naturally become top-tiered existences at the fifth level. What a pity that out of them all, only one was fated to survive. Years went by. Lo Feng had thoroughly studied all 360 blade manuals and memorized them by heart. His whole mind and body were immersed into careful comprehension of the three icebergs, the engravings of laws. Just a single engraving of law. Lo Feng's gaze chased after that meteor-like light, which was flying high and low, creating streams of light shaped into perfect arcs. It looked simple, yet it contained endless meaning. 
As he watched, that stream of light seemed to grow bigger and thicker, as though it was an incomparably large rainbow. The edges of the rainbow had countless blade shadows, which were either gentle like water, stable as a mountain, or fiery like flames. Every blade shadow had an extremely complex diagram of secret engravings, so complex that it far surpassed what Lo Feng had once seen before in the greatest, ultimate diagram of secret engravings found within the ninth deep abyss. This was something Lo Feng could not comprehend. Countless blade shadows perfectly conformed to one another to compose a gigantic rainbow. This rainbow resembled a simple stream of meteor-like light. Gold. Wood. Water. Fire. Earth. Wind. Light. Lightning. Space. Gold space. Water space. Wooden space. Even to water time. Gold time. Uncountable secrets seem to be completely fused, yet at times, they are only partially fused. Lo Feng was intoxicated by everything he saw. The engravings of laws were detached from any other individual law because it contained all the laws and all the mysteries. Huh? Lo Feng's left eye kept watch on that meteor-like light while his right eye was engaged in, watching the three mountains of icebergs and countless meteor-like light rays that were, intertwining with one another to form the magnificent and unpredictable blade technique that, was so mystical. Left eye, right eye. One to the meteor-like light, the other to the three mountains of blades. Reflecting and mirroring one another. That was when a mystery arose. Lo Feng was well versed in the gold law, space law, and golden space law. As for the other laws, when he was studying the diagrams of secret engravings, he only managed to acquire scraps of information about them. Even though his comprehension was not high, there was still some understanding. Which was why, when he was looking, Lo Feng could only distinctly identify the blade figure that was mainly based on golden space. While looking, all the blade techniques in the 360 blade manuals were still hovering in his mind, appearing one by one and mirroring one another. With these in his mind, Lo Feng could even naturally create one blade technique after another, all in search of the feeling of looking at the engravings of laws. He could work hard on creating a blade technique with that sort of unique quality. It was just that the blade technique might be too weak or might already be incomplete from the very beginning. But Lo Feng was not bothered by those thoughts. He still continued creating. Time passed. Lo Feng was unaware of how much time had passed. He was completely immersed in the creating process. Unknowingly, he had finished the analysis of space law. He had even managed to acquire the skill of using all the secret techniques of wood law, water law, fire law, and earth law. Although he had not meant to comprehend these four fundamental laws, due to his overly profound comprehension, the way of utilizing the secret techniques of the four laws was naturally comprehended over time. If he'd had the intention to comprehend these four major laws, he would probably have achieved complete comprehension within two to three days. Gold. Space. Space. Yet to become gold. Wood. Water. Fire. Earth. Annihilate. Gold. He did not know how long he spent on comprehending. Space was originally divided into five different types, namely, gold, wood, water, fire, and earth. During his long period of comprehending, Lo Feng had familiarized himself with these five spaces, and when both eyes were looking at the icebergs, one would focus on the intrinsic qualities while the other would focus on the external phase in search of the ultimate secrets. Along the way, he had discerned a new route. This is the blade I am looking for. Lo Feng grasped absolute guest blade and silently rose to stand above the chaotic airflow. He wielded his blade. A brilliant ray that sliced across the vast sky instantly. There was an upsurge of light rays that converged into a dark, gigantic sphere. Countless blade rays were suppressed within this black sphere. A single blade ray could actually transform into this black, gigantic sphere within an instant to reach a height of 10 billion kilometers. Pooh! The black sphere suddenly split apart from the middle. A dazzling golden light appeared, but it vanished in a flash. A clearly visible mark could be seen within the entire space of inheritance. There it remained. I see it. 
A new life. Lo Feng shut his eyes as tears flowed. He was genuinely touched from the bottom of his heart. This single move had allowed him to advance to an entirely new level. Candidate has created the third form of blade technique. The cold, mechanical voice said in Lo Feng's ears. An heir has emerged. The other candidates. Annihilate. During that long period, all the candidates had seemed to have lost their sanity as they immersed themselves within the icebergs. Suddenly, an intangible force fell from the star high above and landed directly upon every single one of the candidates. No, Blue Blood's eyes widened as his face registered fear. No, it should have been me. I should be the one succeeding. Thereafter, he lay there, unmoving. His godly body looked the same, but his soul was annihilated. Dear Bugmaster, who was in the midst of comprehending, registered a change in expression. This is, then he, too, remained where he was, unmoving. One by one, the great beings froze instantly, as if they had become blocks of ice. They had all been annihilated, leaving behind their godly bodies. At the same time, the divided bodies of these great beings in the other miniature universes, and even those in the primal universe, were all annihilated. The moment an heir was born, the others were annihilated. It was an ironic form of celebration. Chapter 1244, Nu Duan Dong River, Purple Moon Ancestor frowned as the candidates fell one after another, including Dear Bug Master, whom he had the best hope for. He failed? Purple Moon Ancestor frowned. Then who got it? That human from the original universe? Eastern Emperor? Or other powers? Purple Moon Ancestor was anxious, but he couldn't tell which one got the inheritance. He could only tell that the human from the original universe had the best chance. Eastern Emperor and I need the inheritance from Duan Dong River. Purple Moon Ancestor thought, it's either that human Milky Way or Blue Blood from Eastern Emperor Holy Land. They have the best hope. Eastern Emperor must know which one got the inheritance. Purple Moon Ancestor nodded mildly. I'll see how Eastern Emperor Holy Land behaves to see whether Lo Feng's still alive or not. In a dimension space of Eastern Emperor Holy Land, the candidates who were originally sitting on the leaves of a towering ancient tree all fell, and some of the bodies dropped from the tree, diving. Humph! Eastern Emperor snorted, he saw the body of Blue Blood Knight not far from him, and he said, Human Milky Way Horde Leader, Lo Feng, all of the candidates dying at the same time shocked the entire universe ocean. The inheritance from Duan Dong River was craved by the almost 100 powers in universe ocean, as it was a great way for them to transcend incarnation. Who? Who got it? The human or Eastern Emperor Holy Land? Which power got the inheritance? All the major powers in Universe Ocean were anxious and confused. However, other than Eastern Emperor Holy Land, nobody knew who got the inheritance. Eastern Emperor Holy Land knew because they saw Blue Blood Knight, which meant it was almost certain that it was that human, Milky Way Horde leader. I've made the breakthrough and become the new inheritor of Duan Dong River. Lo Feng sent an email to Huge Axe Creator and Primal Chaos City Leader, and he disregarded the shock within the human race. Instead, he went to see Duan Dong River. The stone pillars had stereoscopic phantoms on them, and a man in a white cape was stood among them. When Lo Feng wrote the email to tell Huge Axe Creator and Primal Chaos City Leader, the white-caped man smiled as he knew what the email was about. The silent war in Universe Ocean determined the fate of races, and we humans won. Teacher Origin smiled. He knew. He wasn't sure whether he could be free of suppression before the destruction of the original universe during this universe era, but the human race was destined to have a bright future, and it was likely that the third holy land would be that of the human race. At the same time, the email was sent to Huge Axe Creator and Primal Chaos City Leader. Space of Inheritance other candidates, die. The cold, robotic voice was still echoing beside Lo Feng's ears. He turned his head and saw a figure flying in. It was the elegant Duan Dong River. At the moment, Duan Dong River was wearing white armor with golden stars on it, beautiful boots, and a hat. Master Duan Dong River. Lo Feng gave a salutation. Don't call me master. 
Duan Dong River smiled. You can call me teacher. I'm Duan Dong River of the last generation, and you're the latest generation. I'm your teacher and your guide as well. Duan Dong River looked at the three icebergs in the distance. He waved his hands, and the three icebergs turned into nothing. Huh? Lo Feng turned around. He lamented the loss of the three icebergs, for he considered them precious. Ha ha! 820 basic inheritances, you can study them whenever you want. Duan Dong River smiled. These are all just easy tricks for you to relax with. Duan Dong River values the core inheritance. Core inheritance? Lo Feng's interest was piqued. Follow me. Duan Dong River flew out, seeing a space exit outside. Lo Feng followed. He flew out and saw 820 gleaming entrances floating in the sky. Hide. Duan Dong River glanced around, and the entrances all disappeared. This interested Lo Feng. Duan Dong River smiled. This is where every generation of Duan Dong River receives the inheritance. It's a very precious valuable, much more precious than those so-called supreme true treasures, and it's more special even than some miniature universes. It has lots of individual dimensional spaces, and they form 820 portals connected to the 820 basic inheritances. Lo Feng nodded. He only needed to view this space of inheritance as a special miniature universe. Go! Duan Dong River took Lo Feng, and with his absolute control over the space of inheritance, he moved Lo Feng to the deeper area of the space of inheritance. Lo Feng saw the change in scenery. He was standing at the top of the mountain. He looked down, and all he could see was mist flowing around the mountain. He wasn't able to see the land at all. Where is this? Lo Feng was shocked. This is the apex of the main area of the space of inheritance, said Duan Dong River. Look there. He followed Duan Dong River. Lo Feng saw a human sculpture. He had long hair and deep eyes and was wearing battle armor. It looked like an ordinary human sculpture, but Lo Feng could feel the power contained in it after looking at it for only a few seconds. It was an aloof and special power that was far beyond Lo Feng's understanding. Apparently, the power contained in that sculpture was far beyond Lo Feng's level. He couldn't even identify it at first. This is the third ancestral teacher. Duan Dong River's eyes were filled with awe. His name is Duan Dong River Ju Yi Saint King. Lo Feng was dazed. Duan Dong River Ju Yi Saint King? What a weird name. I am the 192nd inheritor, said Duan Dong River. My name is Duan Dong River Zhen Ju Wu. Lo Feng was even more confused. He had thought the full name of this Duan Dong River was Duan Dong River Wu. Your future name will be Duan Dong River Lo Feng. Duan Dong River looked at Lo Feng. Each generation of Duan Dong River has the same first name but different last names. Before I became the 192nd Duan Dong River, my name was Zhen Ju. Lo Feng understood now. The real name of the third ancestral teacher must have been Zhu Yi. The third ancestral teacher. Duan Dong River gazed at the sculpture in awe. He's the greatest being of Duan Dong River. The first ancestral teacher was powerful as well, but he was only a supreme being in my civilization. So was the second ancestral teacher. However, the third ancestral teacher was the truly amazing one. He spread the fame of Duan Dong River, and he stands among the pinnacle beings. Don't use terms like, universe supreme masters. It's a joke in my homeland. Duan Dong River shook his head. The so-called, universe supreme masters are called true gods. In my hometown, those weaker than true gods, undying fighters, universe knights, and universe masters, those are the same. True God is a threshold for supreme beings in my homeland. Although it's considered a great being, it's far away from being at the pinnacle. Even I have never reached that level. Lo Feng listened carefully. He had already deduced that universe supreme masters were called true gods in the ancient civilization. It was little wonder that when the seven true masters had fought huge axe, creator, the strange beast kept yelling, 
true God, and eternal true God. The third ancestral teacher actually stood among the top beings, exclaimed Duan Dong River. He was also awed by all the great beings, so he was qualified to have the character for saint behind his name. And when he'd reached his full power, he gained the character for king. He was king of the saints. The real top being. I was also awed by countless great beings, but I was far away from being called saint. I could only earn the character Wu. Wu? He had earned that character? He seemed to have gotten the character from someone else. As for saints and kings, those needed to be recognized by countless great beings. The third ancestral teacher stood at the top, and he perfected the inheritance of Duan Dong River. Though none of the latter inheritors could reach the level of the third generation ancestral teacher, Duan Dong River has never stopped. There were nine who could be called saints. Duan Dong River is the most powerful inheritance even in my entire civilization. Lo Feng was shocked. He felt so lucky. If an inheritance could have a pinnacle being, it could surely be considered one of the most powerful inheritances. Come and kneel in front of your third generation ancestral teacher, said Duan Dong River. You're the 193rd inheritor. Lo Feng nodded and walked to the futon made for groveling. He kneeled down and kowtowed. Pong! His head hit the rock. Immediately, countless streaks of black light came out of the photon where Lo Feng was, kneeling and flooded Lo Feng's body. At the same time, the sculpture of the third ancestral teacher emitted light and shone upon Lo Feng's body. Inherit. Duan Dong River watched in silence. He looked relieved. It was a simple groveling, yet it was the most important step. Inherit. Ah, even with Lo Feng's willpower, he couldn't help grunting. A trace of black light and a trace of white light were inserted between his eyebrows. A strange inheritance mark was formed. Duan Dong River couldn't help shaking his body. He thought, Duan Dong River Lo Feng. From now on, you are Duan Dong River. Chapter 1245, The Core Inheritance. Ah. Lo Feng grabbed onto the rocks with both hands. His entire body was trembling. Involuntarily, he looked up. As though he was being forcibly branded with an imprint right in the middle of his brows, a black and white intersecting mark appeared, and a short while later, it was completely hidden and vanished from sight. It could no longer be observed. Lo Feng could not control himself. His body continued to tremble. He opened his eyes and looked toward Duan Dong River, who stood beside him. This, this is too agonizing. This is the imprint that generations of Duan Dong River descendants had. Duan Dong River said, it is created by our third generation ancestor, and every generation will inherit it. Once inherited, it will be easy to conform to the entire space of inheritance. Being branded with the imprint is a must, as this is the only way to get the space of inheritance to recognize one as its master, and only those who have gained control over this space can receive the true inheritance of the pulse of my Duan Dong River. Lo Feng nodded. The more unique a true treasure was, the more troublesome it was in getting it to recognize its master. Such situations were similar to getting Star Tower and the White Wings to recognize Lo Feng as their master, and this space of inheritance was a treasure that the pulse of Duan Dong River used to hand over its inheritance. It was more precious than a miniature universe and much more precious than any supreme true treasure. Thus, getting it to recognize its master, how complicated a process would that be? Only those branded with the imprint could attempt to get it to recognize them as its master. I might have been annihilated, but I left behind my virtual consciousness. Duan Dong River looked toward Lo Feng. With my actual thoughts, memories, and character as a template, I have created this consciousness. In this way, I could slowly wait for the next heir to come forth and receive the inheritance. I am able to leave behind this virtual consciousness. This is also a means achievable within this space of inheritance. He laughed. The space of inheritance has a wealth of functions. It is a treasure that three generations of ancestors specially created for our inheritance. Later on, you will find out more about every one of these functions.
As my virtual consciousness is still in control over this space of inheritance, you are unable to get it to recognize you as its master for the time being. It is a must for me to give up control voluntarily to make it possible for you to get it to recognize its master before it recognizes you. You must do one thing. Duan Dong River looked at Lo Feng. Lo Feng said with due respect, Teacher, please guide me. Take an oath, Duan Dong River said sternly. Repeat after me. Lo Feng nodded and listened intently. Duan Dong River said slowly in a solemn tone, I hereby take this oath, in the name of a newly appointed Duan Dong River, with the imprint of the inheritance as witness. I, Duan Dong River Lo Feng, will not allow the core inheritance of the pulse of Duan Dong River to fall in the hands of outsiders. If I should break my oath, then my soul shall be annihilated. Must I? Lo Feng looked at Duan Dong River. You must. Duan Dong River nodded. Otherwise, you shall be annihilated, and I shall have to choose another heir. Lo Feng nodded and repeated as instructed. I hereby take this oath, in the name of a newly appointed Duan Dong River, with the imprint of the inheritance as witness. I, Duan Dong River Lo Feng, will not allow the core inheritance of the pulse of Duan Dong River to fall in the hands of outsiders. If I should break my oath, then my soul shall be annihilated. His voice echoed, in his ears and in his mind, the imprint between his brows lit up, and his words were transmitted in short bouts into the depths of his soul. If I should break my oath, then my soul shall be annihilated. Then my soul shall be annihilated. Then my soul shall be annihilated. These words reverberated persistently within his soul. Lo Feng frowned, as he had doubts. Then he glanced at Duan Dong River standing beside him. Duan Dong River nodded knowingly. This imprint of the inheritance will stay with you for your lifetime. I know you are a universe knight. You are capable of resurrection. Yet, even upon rebirth, you will still carry on this imprint for eternity. If you break your vow, this imprint of the inheritance will annihilate your soul. Even if you were to be resurrected, you would face annihilation over again. The vicious cycle of resurrection and annihilation would replay over and over again. Lo Feng shuddered. Of course, so long as you do not let the core inheritance fall into the hands of outsiders, nothing will go wrong. Duan Dong River nodded. All right. Before you get this space of inheritance to recognize you as its master, I shall tell you about some of the most important information and treasures. Follow me. Duan Dong River pointed far into the void space ahead, and a space door appeared. Duan Dong River and Lo Feng flew right through that space door, one after the other. All over, the place was filled with endless water, and right in the middle, there was a miniature island. On the island was an ordinary wooden house, and before the wooden house was a curved pond. Duan Dong River landed beside the pond. This space is known to be one of the most important out of the various spaces found in the space of inheritance. Duan Dong River pointed to a spot above the pond. You see that? The three black stones suspended above the water's surface? Lo Feng looked over. The pond was not big, yet the three, smooth, crystal-like black stones were suspended above it, floating persistently. This is called the memory stone, also known as the inheritance stone. Duan Dong River said, it can store a large quantity of memories. Even if a super great being has a large amount of memory to be stored, saving every bit of information will still be very easy. He added solemnly, these three stones are said to be the root of the pulse of my Duan Dong River. Root? Lo Feng felt a jolt. Take a look inside the pond. Duan Dong River said. Then, with a wave of his hand, Wa! All the water in the pond flew up in an instant, revealing numerous black stones at the bottom of the pond. At first glance, Lo Feng thought there could be as many as hundreds of thousands of stones. Now, take a look at the vast ocean. Duan Dong River waved his hand again. Hong! Long! Long! An immeasurable amount of water from the vast ocean surrounding the miniature island started to float with a rumble. It was as though there had been a reversal between heaven and earth, where all the ocean water floated up to the sky, leaving the earth below empty, thus revealing numerous ocean trenches and undersea valleys. 
With a single glance, given Lo Feng's range of view, he caught occasional glimpses of black stones. All those are memory stones, Duan Dong River told him. These three are the roots. They make up the essence of the core inheritance. It is the noblest contribution that three generations of ancestors had left for the pulse of Mai, Duan Dong River. In that pond, there is a total of 12,002 memory stones, and they all belong to the core inheritance. Duan Dong River laughed. However, these stones represent different kinds of memories related to fields of study, close combat, far-range attacks, refining treasures, automatons, and many more. They also contain techniques and methods of cultivation. Any given stone would be enough to drive everyone from Universe Ocean into a frenzy. Within that vast ocean, as many as hundreds of millions of memory stones were scattered about, randomly. Duan Dong River laughed again. Those were left behind by the great beings from the pulse of my Duan Dong River. As they roamed and wandered, they continuously gathered all kinds of information covering a comprehensive range of content, which they considered all-encompassing. As for information on the basic skills of my home civilization, I should think at least 90% are recorded. Of course, the records are very elementary. It is like receiving the basic inheritance. The idea is the same. Lo Feng was tingling with excitement. A library. This was just like a super library, or, rather, templates, left behind by that ancient civilization. By relying on the millions of memory stones in that vast ocean, it was possible to replicate the mid to low power range of that ancient civilization. After all, the information was very basic. These 12,002 memory stones, Duan Dong River said, pointing to the bottom of the pond, are the pride of generations of heirs. These were their hearts and souls. Of course, there were some gathered that also contain important information on cultivation, and these are priceless. Every memory stone is more than enough to set off a war. These three are even more likely to set off a war among the superpowers in my home. Remember, all the information within these three and the 12,002 stones must not fall into the hands of outsiders. Understood, Lo Feng replied. Try using your godly power to unwrap these three memory stones, Duan Dong River said. You have the inheritance imprint. The three memory stones will acknowledge you and transfer all the inheritance they contain over to you. Lo Feng held his breath. The essence of the core inheritance. He stood at the apex of knowledge for which three generations of ancestors were most proud. Su. 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 Three invisible godly powers extended out to speedily envelop the three black stones, and the moment they came into contact, the three black stones started to radiate a faint glow. On the surface, ancient and complex engravings started to appear. Then an influx of information surged and charged its way into Lo Feng's mind. It was a tremendous amount of information being transmitted to him in such an overwhelming amount. Even with Lo Feng's speed of inheriting, the complete transmission took him one full day. Duan Dong River stood aside and watched with a smile as Lo Feng opened a pair of eyes filled with shock and disbelief. It was only three sets of lost knowledge. The core of the entire pulse of Duan Dong River, its true essence, was none other than these three sets of lost knowledge. They were named Duan, Dong, and River. Duan was the abbreviation for Duan Mie, which meant, annihilation. It was a unique set of lost knowledge that could bring about an accelerated upsurge of all the power of a godly body or just a normal flesh and blood body within a short period of time. It could also cause the ability of a body to improve by hundreds, thousands, or even tens of thousands of times in terms of strength. This set of lost knowledge, if simply put across, was somewhat similar to self-destruction, because self-destruction was the process of gathering all the energy within a body to bring about an outburst of power. Normally, during self-destruction, two things would happen. 1. The power of an attack would be scattered in all directions. 2. Once self-destruction was activated, the user would also be annihilated. However, Duan Mie, the core inheritance created by three generations of ancestors, was entirely different. It allowed the great being to control the rate at which it was being burned. 
For instance, within three seconds, the entire godly body could be completely burned. The power was controllable. It could be brought to an outburst that was stronger than normal by innumerable times or could be controlled to last only for one fleeting second during a battle, or even controlled by bringing it to a complete halt instantly. Furthermore, during battles, the accuracy of the power could be controlled when attacking components. Duan allowed a great being to skip stages when using it to annihilate enemies. That was why this set of lost knowledge was formidable. Dong was the abbreviated name for Dong Hua, which meant, East Brilliance, and was a set of lost knowledge on escaping. Once executed, a great being could transform into a stream of brilliance. The speed was unbelievably fast, so fast as to easily traverse layers of space. This was the most formidable escape technique of the pulse of Duan Dong River. River was short for Undying River, which was a set of lost knowledge that taught the skill of becoming undying. Just like any flesh and blood life form, when they become undying fighters, universe knights, or universe masters, their godly bodies would be converted into a more intangible form of energy. And once they achieved their breakthrough to become universe supreme masters, they would, on the contrary, be reverted back to their origin. When various identities combined as one, the more intangible godly body would take a more concrete form composed of flesh and blood. This would be truly a flesh and blood life form. Although part of a flesh and blood body could also be burned up and converted to energy like a godly body, ultimately, it was still a flesh and blood life form. Normally, annihilating a universe master or universe supreme master through soul attacks would deprive opponents any chances for resurrections, yet when relying on undying river, the moment this knowledge had been cultivated to a certain degree, any great being would be able to isolate part of its divided body from its main body. Also, another instance of utilizing this knowledge was hiding a mere drop of blood. Even if the divided body of a great being was hit by a soul attack and all of it was annihilated, after undergoing unique refining, this drop of blood of the annihilated body could remain unscathed. Thereafter, it could spend some time to speedily absorb energy and take up its original form. Again, that would make an undying fighter. Duan Mie allowed its user to achieve an outburst of extreme power when faced with opponents in battle. Dong Hua, used for escaping, was incomparably formidable. Even if there was no way to escape, one could always rely on Undying River to effect a resurrection. The three sets of lost knowledge. Relying on these three sets of lost knowledge, every generation of Duan Dong River would only have one set of the three lost knowledges. Yet every generation would see the emergence of one terrifying figure. Indeed, they are worthy to be called the lost knowledges of three generations of ancestors. Indeed, they are worthy to be called the core of the core of the entire pulse of Duan Dong River. These are simply, certainly, extremely powerful. Lo Feng was tongue-tied. It was no wonder this was the most top-notch inheritance of that ancient civilization and only a favored elite could inherit it. It was more than enough to drive any great being mad with jealousy. No wonder East Emperor Holy Land and Purple Moon Holy Land coveted it. The two ancestors must have long ago heard of certain information regarding the inheritance of the Pulse of Duan Dong River. Chapter 1246 The Passing of Duan Dong River The pond water and endless ocean water were all suspended in mid-air. Duan Dong River said with a solemn expression, when one is weak, there is still room for improvement, as he can still work hard to cultivate and achieve breakthroughs one by one. But things are different when one gets stronger. Any superior great being has to go through countless battles and fights. This is the only way to train and hone skills. For example, to become a true god, or what you all would call a universe supreme master, you will have to go through countless killings to gain extensive experience before you can finally achieve a breakthrough. When starting from the stage of a true god, to continue ascending, Every step would entail great difficulty. Great beings are life forms who tread between life and death but eventually stand firm till the end. Lo Feng heard him and nodded. 
He agreed with what Duan Dong River said. In fact, from his perspective, to become a universe supreme master, he had to achieve his breakthrough after experiencing battles and fights in which he could hone his skills and abilities. This was how sitting mountain guest and primal chaos city leader had felt in the past, when they sent him out to wander and venture to steal himself for future breakthroughs. Universe masters, universe supreme masters, true gods, all had to tread the paths between life and death. There are many talented ones, and also many determined ones, Duan Dong River said softly. Perhaps for them, they could still make small achievements, but to truly stand on the highest peak, what great being could get there without the help of opportunities? It is impossible for a great being to solely depend on his own ability to make it to the pinnacle. The pulse of my Duan Dong River has three most important sets of lost knowledge. When you find yourself dealing with countless life and death battles, they will reduce your chances of being annihilated to the lowest possibility. Of course, even if you manage to escape annihilation, it does not mean that you are undying for sure. Generations of heirs from the pulse of my Duan Dong River died, one by one. Even our three generations of ancestors are dead. Duan Dong River shook his head, which is why one must never, ever take this lightly. Lo Feng nodded, then smiled. The powerful beings we have in our current generation cannot hold a candle to that civilization, so all is fine. It is not that simple. Duan Dong River gently shook his head. Not that simple? Lo Feng was taken aback. What do you mean? First, take a closer look at the three sets of lost knowledge you have obtained. Duan Dong River said. Lo Feng immediately started to look more thoroughly, as the three sets of lost knowledge each contained an unbelievable amount of information. The memory transmission alone took a long time, and the memory transmission was merely the process of shoving all the information into Lo Feng's memory. Lo Feng still had to take much time to slowly read through them all. With Lo Feng's reading speed, even studying one set of lost knowledge, Duan Mie, took more than 10 days before he finally registered a change in expression. Found it? Duan Dong River's expression was hard to read. How? How come it's gone? Lo Feng was shocked as he turned to look at Duan Dong River. Duan Mie was left behind by three generations of ancestors. According to the introduction of the entire set of lost knowledge, it should be massive with a total of nine volumes. Why are there only the first three most basic volumes? What about the next six? I certainly detected those within my memory, but I just cannot read them. Why is this happening? It was a weird feeling it was like having a vague memory of a certain thing, but no matter how hard he tried, he could not fully recall it. All of the lost knowledge, Duan Mie, was in his memory, he could detect them within his memory, but he just could not recall the remaining six volumes. This, forgotten, feeling came to him before when he was still young, back when his power was extremely weak, but since becoming a super great being, everything that he had gone through in his lifetime, every bit of memory, was easy to look back upon. Not the slightest bit was forgotten. It is because the first three volumes set the limit to where the true god stage can cultivate. Up to, Duan Dong River said. The limit of the true god stage? Lo Feng seemed to vaguely recall something. Three sets of lost knowledge, and these. Duan Dong River pointed to the black stones at the bottom of the pond. And those. Then he pointed toward the scattered black stones in the vast ocean. All the information, even if you transmit all your memories, the most you can see would be the pinnacle of the true god stage, Duan Dong River elaborated. Various information from any level higher than this, you will not be able to view. Why is this so? Lo Feng was filled with doubts, but he was not bothered. Being unable to read those was not a big deal to him. In any case, there were detailed records of the endless information within the inheritance. Stones from a normal undying to the pinnacle of a universe supreme master. For him, that was enough. After all, he was only a universe knight. But he was certain that he had the memories in his mind. Who could have so wordlessly, and without a trace, prevented him from looking through his own memories? Because, Duan Dong River's gaze was adrift as he sighed softly. 
That is the willpower of the primal universe. Willpower of the primal universe? Lo Feng was taken aback. That's it. Duan Dong River nodded with a sigh. The primal universe is the most massive celestial body in all of universe ocean. Given such an immense celestial body, every moment, the amount of chaotic energy it consumes is terrifying. Compared to it, the universe boast is simply. Duan Dong River shook his head. Lo Feng nodded. The universe boat might have been big, but if it was compared to the primal universe, it was like a paper boat compared to the sun. If you are living in the primal universe, then being a part of the primal universe will ensure that all is fine for you. Duan Dong River nodded. However, if you are no longer a member of the primal universe, the primal universe no longer protects you. That is where trouble arises. In the universe ocean, who is the most powerful? It is not a matter of who. It is the willpower of the primal universe. Duan Dong River said, Your powers are weak, but you all should be able to feel that. When you fight battles against true gods, the willpower of the primal universe will help you. No matter where you are within the universe ocean, it will help you all. The powers of the true gods will all be suppressed. All their godly powers will completely be suppressed by it. Lo Feng nodded. Yes, indeed, it would. The willpower of the primal universe was such a massive thing that no one could put up a resistance against it. Teacher Origin had previously fought with the willpower of the Origin, and as a result, he was eternally suppressed. The entire primal universe has it as its backing, said Duan Dong River. The power that the willpower of the origin can unleash is totally out of your wildest imaginations. He snorted. How do you think this universe boat ended up so battered and shattered? Suddenly, Duan Dong River's expression changed. I cannot say further. Duan Dong River looked toward Lo Feng and added solemnly, There are some things I cannot tell you. You just need to know that throughout the entire universe ocean, there is nowhere that the origin of the primal universe does not have control over. Fortunately, it is only a simple willpower that was formed by the massive universe law and does not have any desires. Otherwise, I have no idea what it would become. If you want to transcend it, there is only one way. Duan Dong River looked at Lo Feng. Break through a reincarnation. Break through a reincarnation. And you will find yourself in a whole new setting. Information related to the pulse of my Duan Dong River is stored in those memory stones. For now, you can only see up to the true God stage. But the moment you make it through a reincarnation, you can see everything. Lo Feng gave a slight nod. Although Duan Dong River did not say much, Lo Feng vaguely realized that, in the beginning, when Duan Dong River and the numerous great beings of that civilization boarded the universe boat, there were implications related to the willpower of the primal universe. Thereafter, the destruction of the universe boat was likely due to the willpower of the primal universe. You and I are different, said Duan Dong River. You are a member of the primal universe. Or at least up until now, you still are. He laughed. This is why you are protected by it. Suddenly, Duan Dong River waved. The black stones scattered beneath the suspended, endless ocean waters, the wide ocean trenches, and the underground valleys, as well as those at the bottom of the pond before them, all flew up into the air and made their way to Duan Dong River. Very quickly, Duan Dong River stored everything. Hong. Long. Long, with a rumble, the vast ocean water and pond water suspended high up in the sky fell. Follow me. Duan Dong River pointed somewhere ahead. Before them, ripples started to form and gave rise to a space entrance. Lo Feng followed obediently. Both entered the space entrance one after the other and quickly arrived in a new space. It was a vast world with seemingly no boundaries to speak of. The surroundings were in endless darkness, and what they stood on was a piece of land with a diameter that was only as big as over 10 kilometers. This is a space where time is accelerated. Duan Dong River pointed far into the endless darkness. This darkness seems to have no boundaries, but in truth, all of these are not real. This space for time acceleration is small. 
It only consists of this piece of land. A smaller area will allow a smaller energy consumption when making use of time acceleration, he added with a laugh. I would have long ago been annihilated. My control alone can only bring time acceleration to 10,000 times. As for you, the stronger your godly power gets, the moment you start manipulating it, time acceleration will naturally get faster. Under the influence of time acceleration, you will be able to extend the time you need for cultivation. Duan Dong River waved, and a single black stone floated before Lo Feng. Actually, I have been lonely for countless reincarnation eras. I have so much to say, so much to entrust, and so many proud moments of the pulse of my Duan Dong River that I want to share with you. Duan Dong River shook his head slowly. However, when you received the three sets of lost knowledge, I suddenly realized that I was actually annihilated long ago. What more can I not bear to part with? So I have recorded everything into this memory stone. It will tell you all I want you to know, and it records every single secret of the entire space of inheritance. After seeing it for yourself, you will understand everything. Duan Dong River looked up at the boundless darkness. Then, squatting down, he grabbed some mud from the ground and sniffed. He smiled and said, I was dead long ago. What you see of me now is nothing more than an image of a virtual consciousness. Virtual. I am merely something virtual. I was never a life form in the first place. Wah! Wow. Duan Dong River was shattered into bits and pieces. Then he vanished. Teacher, Duan Dong River. Lo Feng shouted. But he was the only one left. Lo Feng was in a daze. This, this. He was trapped in a place like this. How could he find the way out? Hong, streams of light rays appeared amidst the vast darkness and speedily charged over to enshroud him. Lo Feng looked toward the sky where streaks of black and white light rays were falling upon him. There was nowhere to hide as they all gathered and approached Lo Feng. The imprint of inheritance between Lo Feng's brows appeared automatically. The imprint, which consisted of intertwining black and white lines, started to revolve. Endless light rays surged into Lo Feng's body. Then peace and quiet were restored. An incomparable sense of affinity grew in Lo Feng's heart as he looked around him. With an intention in mind, a seedling suddenly emerged from the ground and started to grow. It grew lusher. More started to spread out. In a short moment, over 10 kilometers of land had transformed into a meadow. Recognizing its master? Lo Feng was taken aback. The space of inheritance had recognized him as its master. Although he still felt a little unfamiliar, he could sense the entire space of inheritance. Duan Dong River has voluntarily given up all his control rights? Lo Feng looked to his side, where Duan Dong River had been grabbing mud from the ground just moments ago. He recalled what Duan Dong River had said earlier. Suddenly, Lo Feng realized that Duan Dong River might have disappeared for good. In this universe ocean, only he, the 193rd generation of Duan Dong River, remained. Chapter 1247. This is the space of inheritance. Although he had already gotten the space of inheritance to recognize its master, Lo Feng still held many doubts regarding the boat of mausoleum and space of inheritance. Right away, he used his godly power to envelope that memory stone and shortly after, a large amount of information was transmitted to him. It was detailed information left behind by Duan Dong River's virtual consciousness, before it was dispersed, concerning the various functions and areas to pay attention to within the space of inheritance. It also included what he needed to tell Lo Feng regarding the remodeling that he had done to the boat of mausoleum. The information was so detailed that it included where the core control of boat of mausoleum was and how to control it. All this information was made known to Lo Feng via that memory stone. The three generations of ancestors prepared information so meticulously. Lo Feng was in awe. Almost 95% of the entire space of inheritance is filled with the achievements of the three generations of ancestors. Only 5% are some functions added on by the other generations of heirs. This entire space of inheritance is the perfect place for a great being to cultivate. Lo Feng was shocked. It was detailed beyond words. 
If not for the information Duan Dong River left behind, even though Lo Feng was recognized as master by the space of inheritance, he would have likely had to wander around and study the place before he could understand all corners of it. Yet now, everything was well within his control. The space of inheritance was actually like a miniature universe divided into many individual spaces. There was a space resembling a superlibrary, where there was a tremendous amount of memory stones that contained an equally large amount of information. Almost every fundamental technique of the ancient civilization was recorded, and there were countless precious experiences that led directly to the road of the highest peak, experiences of generations of heirs and the countless precious information that they had gathered. There was also a space that seemed to be used specially for combat training, a miniature virtual space where there were numerous opponents, a total of 282 of them and amongst them. The generations of Duan Dong River were also included. The moment one's consciousness entered the virtual space, one could exchange blows with these virtual opponents, and these virtual opponents were capable of executing the same mighty power of corresponding super beings. The strongest opponents were, naturally, the three generations of ancestors. There was a space that seemed to be used specially for creating secret techniques. There was a space specially used to cultivate one's weapons. There was a space specially for mediation. There was a space specially for. To concluded, the entire space of inheritance was the epitome of perfection. The best place for a great being to stay in for cultivation as it was filled with, and continuously supplied with, knowledge and functions by generations of heirs. This is too, too extravagant. Lo Feng could not help blinking. Before accepting the inheritance, he had entertained many kinds of imaginations, but upon truly getting into contact with it, he realized that he was not adventurous enough in his imagination. He had underestimated Duan Dong River's generations of heirs. This so-called extravagant to the maximum limit, space of inheritance. If one was within here, then regardless of how short or long it took, it would be impossible for one not to become a super great being. Furthermore, the pulse of Duan Dong River had always been very stringent in its requirements of an heir. To be chosen, one had be absolutely gifted and determined, and possess various other superior qualities. Even if there was no inheritance to be handed down, this heir would eventually be someone of great achievement. Once the chosen heir had the help of the space of inheritance, it would be like giving wings to a tiger. One would naturally be fueled with even greater strength to go further and higher. In Universe Ocean, fighting for inheritances until everyone gets badly battered, especially using techniques such as Divine Eye Clan's so-called Law of Combined Attacks, is something that is very common to the ancient civilization, and it only constitutes part of it. There are many trivialities that may include even soul attacks, illusions, refining true treasures, creating manipulative automatons. There are so many that it is impossible to count them all. Lo Feng was in awe. He came to realize that whatever he knew about the ancient civilization was very basic. To the pulse of Duan Dong River, this basic information that was stored in the 10 million memory stones was all pretty much inconsequential. Thus, it was up to the generations of Duan Dong River's descendants' discretion, whether they wanted the information to be kept within the pulse or to be shared with other groups of powers. Knowledge is power. The experiences of countless great beings and their beliefs in the cultivations of countless studies, all of these were creations by numerous preceding great beings in succession. This is where the fundamentals originate. The first thing Lo Feng did was practically in sync with what any of the preceding generation of Duan Dong River would do, which was to recall everything that was recorded within these memory stones. Perhaps he might not be treading the paths of certain groups of studies, or he could touch on some knowledge that might be helpful to his own cultivation process. Or, probably, when he met with opponents of a foreign group of studies in an actual fight, he would know a thing or two about his opponent's backgrounds, strengths, and weaknesses. As well, bring it on. Lo Feng made a single wave. In an instant, a large number of black stones, such a tremendous number that they were counted in the millions, were suspended in mid-air. 
categorize them. Lo Feng divided his godly power to get in contact with all the memory stone, simultaneously, then started to process the different parts of information that he got in contact with, classifying them after coming to a verdict. Shortly after, the countless memory stones were being sorted into different categories. First, he would categorize them, then he would start memorizing. Lo Feng was in a cultivation space where time velocity reached 10,000 times, and he only spent around 15 days to memorize the entire core inheritance. The actual time spent was a few hundred years. Thereafter, he started on a job that was on a much larger scale. It was to start memorizing the information stored in over 100 million memory stones. There was over 100 million memory stones, but every stone was only a small part of the fundamental, which was why the amount of information was far from that of the core inheritance. Yet he still required close to 30 years to finish accepting the entire amount of information, which was actually 30 eras. Upon complete acceptance, Lo Feng started to read and study thoroughly, and the amount of time he used was much longer compared to the amount of time spent on merely accepting the information. Previously, it was just trying to force all the information from the countless books into his mind. Now, he had to slowly go through them all. The boat of Mausoleum was still floating in mid-air within the flame ice region, but the cabin doors were shut. Occasionally, there would be great beings passing by with envy in their eyes, but they did not dare to stay for long and left quickly, as they were afraid of incurring the wrath of that Duan Dong River, who could, after all, exterminate second true master and seventh true master in an instant, while various groups of powers of Universe Ocean were suspicious and speculating, where the majority of them were unclear of who the heir was. Lo Feng was, on the contrary, able to study at ease. Being in the space of inheritance, he knew he was in safe hands. Besides, the space of inheritance was within the boat of mausoleum. The moment the boat of mausoleum closed, no one from Universe Ocean would be able to intrude. As for those who dared to set foot in the boat of mausoleum, they would be courting their doom. The boat of mausoleum might not be able to attack those outside it, but Duan Dong River had remodeled it so that internally, there were many terrifying means that served to ambush intruders. Any universe supreme being who dared to intrude would be asking for death. With the passing of time, Lo Feng gained much understanding about the breakthrough of every level, from Undying to Universe Knight to Universe Master to Universe Supreme Master. He was even aware of things like which level a Universe Supreme Master had to continue to advance toward. He was, in fact, very knowledgeable in this aspect. Even the Universe Supreme Masters did not know as much as Lo Feng. In that ancient civilization, there was a very clear analysis in this aspect, so within the inheritance of the pulse of Duan Dong River, all of these analyses were considered part of the ordinary, peripheral information stored within the memory stones, they simply carried no value of confidentiality. Lo Feng might only be a universe knight, but there was no questioning his qualification in providing guidance to universe masters. He might even be qualified enough to offer guidance guidance to Universe Supreme Masters. After all, the Universe Supreme Masters within Universe Oceans were all like blind men crossing the river, even if they had all achieved their breakthroughs, they were all still so muddle-headed because there was too little experience from predecessors, where they could learn from to begin with, so there was simply no way they could carry out their studies in a systematic manner. In the blink of an eye, 2,600 years had passed since Lo Feng accepted the inheritance. In the virtual universe, within one of the individual plane surfaces belonging to Hugh Jack's creator, Lo Feng has become the heir for so long, yet after sending us one mail, he seems to have vanished. Surrounded by a vast and dark starry sky, in the godly palace floating in mid-air, primal chaos city leader and huge axe creator were seated facing one another. In terms of friendship, primal chaos city leader and huge axe shared a very close friendship. Previously teacher origin had guided both primal chaos city leader and huge axe. As primal chaos city leader was more obedient and followed every teaching when he was under teacher origin's tutelage, he was the older disciple. 
Hugh Jax was different, he was a wilder character and preferred a non-conformist approach, and he was often out wandering, which was why Teacher Origin and Hugh Jax did not share a teacher-disciple relationship. Yet it was unquestionable that Primal Chaos City leader and Huge Axe were both Teacher Origin's very first disciples, of which, one was the disciple of highest seniority, while the other was a true disciple without an acknowledged teacher-student relationship. Huge Axe was like an older brother, especially after Teacher Origin was suppressed, the entire human race was dependent on the two of them. As time grew longer, the two naturally forged a deep friendship as they often met together for discussions. Ha ha, you really are worried about your darling disciple, Hugh Jacks laughed out loud. Yes, I am worried that there may be accidents. Primal Chaos City leader shook his head. Who will know anything about the ancient civilization? That Duan Dong River may have other ulterior motives, who knows? Can't you just ask Lo Feng directly? Hugh Jax said, I'm worried that I will be disrupting his progress of accepting the inheritance. Primal Chaos City leader gave a slight frown. What are you worried about? Lo Feng has a few great bodies, how can it be possible that when accepting the inheritance, he cannot even spare a tad bit of consciousness into the virtual universe? Hugh Jax shook his head in objection. If you are worried, then let me approach him. Hugh Jax was more forthright. Without further ado, he sent a mail to Lo Feng. Very quickly, a lone figure appeared out of thin air before the quiet godly palace. That was Lo Feng donning a simple white robe, because he was used to wearing his silver armor. That was why Lo Feng was naturally inclined towards colors like silver and white. Lo, huge axe creator was about to open his mouth to say something, but suddenly, furrows appeared within his brows as he carefully observed Lo Feng. Primal Chaos City leader who was usually a meticulous thinker was also surprised when he looked at Lo Feng. Both of them were supposedly great beings of such high ranks, and both could tell at one look. The Lo Feng that stood before them had undergone an overwhelming chance. That was an inherent change from deep within, just like how the disposition of some who had battled frequent enough to become more determined and aggressive while others had studied enough books to gain the so-called scholarliness. Different experiences would bring about different changes in dispositions, and when Lo Feng had absorbed the foundation of that entire ancient civilization, his original vision and realm of thoughts underwent an earth-shattering change, and this had surpassed many other universe supreme masters. He could even be a teacher of several universe supreme masters, someone capable enough to provide them with guidance. Seems like, this inheritance is quite extraordinary. Hugh Jacks turned to look at Primal Chaos City leader and with a sigh, he said, the moment I saw him, the feeling was the same as what I felt back then when I first met Teacher Origin. Besides, Teacher Origin liked wearing white robes too, he does exude a similar feel. Primal Chaos City leader also commented amidst laughter. Lo Feng walked up and said, Hugh Jack's creator, Teacher, please don't tease me, it's quite obvious. Hugh Jax started, you gained big time. How do you feel? Primal Chaos City leader was no longer jesting around as he continued to say, how is the inheritance this time round? Is it helpful to our human race in any way? Are you confident in getting our human race to transcend reincarnation? Even Hugh Jax's eyes were filled with the same eagerness. Lo Feng nodded, from the stage of an undying all the way to the limit of a universe supreme. Master, everything is within my heart. How certain and confident he sounded. Hugh Jax and Primal Chaos City leader looked at one another, and both pairs of eyes were shining brightly. Chapter 1248. Preaching. Primal Chaos City leader and Hugh Jax creator were very clear of the kind of person Lo Feng was, as they had watched him grow and mature, just like how he had been absorbed into the Universe Virtual Network Company at the very beginning, it had always been the same way with Lo Feng. When there was no outburst, all was peaceful. The moment he had an outburst, it would certainly result in an amazing surprise. Since he had first become Primal Chaos City leader's disciple, he had lain low and completely effaced himself, and he had kept to such obscurity that the outside world started speculating whether he was alive or dead. 
Through his journey of growth, his character and style of handling matters were clearly observed by both Primal Chaos City, leader and huge axe creator. They were very clear on the fact that Lo Feng would only start on something if he was prepared for it and that he had the confidence to bring it to completion. If he was not prepared or lacked the confidence, he would never casually commit to it. On the contrary, if he verbalized his decisions in a resolute and confident manner, then he was bound to succeed. Everything is within your heart? Hugh Jack's creator gave a hearty laugh. Everything? What great confidence you have. But just listening to your words makes me very happy. From an undying to the limit of a universe supreme master, primal chaos city leader could not hold back his question. So, do you know how you should break through a reincarnation era? Hugh Jack's creator, who was listening by the side, also looked at Lo Feng. Breaking through a reincarnation. Even Hugh Jack's felt the fear and sense of loss. Even he was not confident. Lo Feng was slightly taken aback. Breaking through a reincarnation? He was truly clueless. With a serious expression, Lo Feng said, The inheritance of the pulse of Duan Dong River is extremely vast. However, I am under the influence of the willpower of the primal universe, so I am only allowed to access information about the inheritance up to the limit of a universe. Supreme Master. Any further than this, I will need to break through a reincarnation era to break free from the influence of the willpower of the primal universe. Willpower of the origin? Hugh Jacks and Primal Chaos City leader looked at one another. Others might have been unaware, but previously, the two of them were most frequently in contact with Teacher Origin. After Teacher Origin was suppressed, whenever he needed to connect with the human race, it was mostly through the two of them. This was why they had the opportunity to hear about the willpower of the origin from Teacher Origin. Wah! There were many stone chairs on either side of the long stone table. Lo Feng, Hugh Jacks, and Primal Chaos City Leader were seated there when suddenly, on the stone chair opposite Hugh Jacks's, which had been empty all this while, a white-robed figure appeared. It was Teacher Origin, but all three of them, Lo Feng, Hugh Jacks and Primal Chaos City Leader, did not realize this. Willpower of the origin? To the side, white-robed teacher origin frowned as he listened. But how a universe supreme master continues to cultivate, and how to reach the limit of a universe supreme master, these, I do know, Lo Feng said. With this limit as the basis, if I were to achieve a breakthrough and reach a new level, if you reach a new level, then you will certainly be able to break through a reincarnation, Hugh Jack's creator said, finishing his sentence. Ah, Lo Feng was shocked and looked toward Hugh Jack's creator. He could only speculate, after all, regarding reincarnation, there was no information to be found within the inheritance at all, and it was also impossible to find any information past the limit of a universe supreme master. He had not expected Hugh Jack's to say this so confidently. Primal Chaos City leader also looked towards Hugh Jack's with a shocked expression. Hugh Jacks looked at Lo Feng and Primal Chaos City Leader and said, It's very simple. When you all achieve your breakthroughs to become Universe Supreme Masters, you will understand why I know this. The bottom line, for a complete breakthrough to the level of a Universe Supreme Master, to level up, you must make it past a reincarnation. If you can't reach the next level, then take a gamble and try your luck. There is still a possibility of achieving a breakthrough. As for how high your chances are, take a look at the countless universe supreme masters who have been annihilated for umpteen reincarnation eras, and you will know how low your chances are. True, Lo Feng and Primal Chaos City Leader nodded their heads. For countless reincarnation eras, at least 10 million reincarnation eras, every one of them had at least dozens of universe supreme masters. Sailing down the long river of time, exactly how many universe supreme masters from universe ocean were annihilated, was a number that was hard to tell, but the ones who succeeded were easy to track, Purple Moon Ancestor and East Emperor Ancestor. Just the two of them. 
As for whether these two ancestors managed to break through and surpass the level of a universe supreme master in order to successfully break their way through a reincarnation, or if they simply took a gamble within their limit of a universe supreme master to barely scrape through and succeed, no one knew. How can a universe master become a universe supreme master? Primal Chaos City leader asked persistently. This concerned him personally. Hugh Jacks also pressed for answers. For a breakthrough, every universe master must tread a different path. Did the inheritance of the pulse of Duan Dong River provide any guidance? Yes, Lo Feng said with a nod. In that ancient civilization, there are countless great beings. Because there were many who managed to achieve breakthroughs, to become a universe supreme master, one has to make it past an extremely large threshold. Naturally, there was a systematic way of recognition, and also, various experiences to tap from, which can help you maximize the chances of successful breakthroughs. By the end of this reincarnation era, our human race may have four to five universe supreme masters, but if there is more guidance, this number may multiply many folds. Previously, Divine Eye Clan had seen the emergence of seven universe supreme masters. The human race only had two up until today, whereby one of them, Teacher Origin, was being suppressed. As a result, being able to see the birth of four to five universe supreme masters would already be considered great news. Multiply many folds? Hugh Jacks and Primal Chaos City Leader were both shocked. Doesn't it mean that almost every universe master will become a universe supreme master? Primal Chaos City Leader asked. The human race only had a total of 19 universe masters. No, Lo Feng shook his head. That's not what I meant. From a universe master to a universe supreme master, there is an extremely frightening threshold to pass. With the guidance of the ancient civilization, although the chances of breaking through are maximized, there is still a high level of difficulty. What I was referring to was the entire cultivation system. That is, from an undying, to a universe supreme master. For instance, the human race currently only has a few thousand universe knights and close to 20 universe masters. Under a more improved system, the human race could possibly have over 100,000 universe knights and a few hundred universe masters. Such a cultivation method enables those who are naturally less talented and who may otherwise only reach the level of a universe knight to progress all the way to becoming a universe master. This explains why the average talent of these few hundred universe masters cannot even be compared with as few as about 20 universe masters of our human race. I suppose a few hundred universe masters should be able to give rise to dozens of universe supreme masters. If they are lucky, it may also be possible to reach a number close to 100 Universe Supreme Masters. Silence. Primal Chaos City leader and Huge Axe creator had quietened down. They were in the aftermath of a shock. So powerful. How many Universe Supreme Masters could one reincarnation era cultivate? Take the first reincarnation era and the second reincarnation era, for instance. Both eras only had around 30 universe supreme masters. In the near future, could the human race become stronger than a reincarnation era? This primal chaos city leader opened his mouth to speak but was at a loss for words. Are you confident? Hugh Jax's eyes were, on the contrary, glimmering. Lo Feng nodded, of course. A universe supreme master is merely one of the many stages along the path that a great being takes. As our human race gets stronger, and the more territories we claim in the primal universe, our numbers will increase. Close to 100 universe supreme masters will also be highly possible for us. Great, Hugh Jacks replied right away. Then you shall provide us with some guidance and let us see just how impressive this ancient civilization could be. Sure. Lo Feng was well prepared. Naturally, he would be confident. Hugh Jacks nodded. I shall arrange for the few of them to make their way here. On this piece of land suspended in the vast void space was Hugh Jacks's godly palace. Before it was a long stone table with stone chairs on either side. There, several figures were starting to appear. Hugh Jacks' creator, 
Why are you looking for us so urgently? Peng Gong Master asked amidst smiles. At the same time, other Universe Masters were appearing one by one. They were Darkness Master, Void Gold Master, Qing Dong Master, Deserted Mirror Master, Peng Gong Master, Long Yan Master, and Ice Mountain Master. Including Primal Chaos City Leader, there was a total of eight Universe Masters. The moment they arrived, the first thing they would notice was that Lo Feng was present, too. Instantly, all of them could feel their insides burning as anticipation settled in. They all knew that Lo Feng was receiving the inheritance of the Pulse of Duan Dong River from that ancient civilization. For him to show up this time around, it seemed like the matter concerned that inheritance. Lo Feng has started to receive the inheritance of the Pulse of Duan Dong River, Hugh Jacks said. His eyes swept across the universe masters once before he fixed his gaze on them. Primal Chaos, Darkness, Peng Gong. The three of you are the most hopeful ones for becoming universe supreme masters. Void Gold, Long Yan, Deserted Mirror. Qing Dong, and Ice Mountain. The five of you are quite hopeful candidates, too. You all should join us in listening. Let us listen to what Lo Feng can tell us, the Universe Masters, about achieving our breakthrough to become Universe Supreme Masters. Wah! Primal Chaos City Leader appeared to be quite at peace. He merely smiled, but the other seven were shocked and their emotions ran high. A breakthrough from Universe Master to Universe Supreme Master? There was simply no precedent to follow, as each and every Universe Master had to walk a different path. This was already giving them headaches because if they wanted to attempt a breakthrough, it had to be done within and during the time of their current Primal Universe era. This meant that, once this reincarnation era ended and they had to go into the miniature universe, they would no longer have the chance to try again. How can they not panic? Ching Dong Master was the first to speak up. Lo Feng, are you confident? Milky Way, can I become a universe supreme master? Peng Gong Master was more straightforward and asked directly. Lo Feng addressed their concerns right away. For the few of you here, our human race is very gifted. Even without any system to guide us, we have made it up to now with each and every one of you being so extraordinary. The moment we have the ancient civilization's guidance, certainly there is hope for the few of you here to become universe supreme masters of our human race. As for who can achieve the breakthrough, this I cannot guarantee. I just know that, after listening to what I have to say, you all will foster a better understanding. All of you shall stop asking now, Hugh Jacks ordered. Just let Lo Feng speak. The many universe masters who had yearned for such a breakthrough for endless time all sat there, desperately holding back their doubts and questions, suppressing their worries and anxieties as they fixated their gazes on Lo Feng. They started to pay close attention to what he had to say. White-robed teacher Origin listened intently. Lo Feng's gaze swept through everyone present. From Universe Master to Universe Supreme Master, everyone must tread a different path, which, in fact, could be classified into two major categories. Everyone held their breath and listened carefully. The first category, starting off by godly power. Lo Feng said with utmost confidence. The second category, starting off by laws. Hugh Jack's creator, who was paying close attention, was instantly filled with doubts. He asked, starting off by laws, this process of becoming a universe supreme master, from what I know, everyone has to advance from the laws, like the universe master from Space Beast Alliance combined the laws of the eight beast gods. Many others mainly started off from time and space. All of them had different directions. Lo Feng smiled. Starting off from the laws, almost 90% of the universe supreme masters did as such, he explained. As for starting off with godly power. What is godly power? Godly power gives rise to form, that is, the body. Godly power contains life imprints, thus constituting the core of life. Just like how we humans have souls, while some other races do not but still have the core of life. In short, any universe master can convert into endless godly power. Everyone listened in silence. What is the foundation of becoming a universe supreme master? To break. To break limits. 
To break free from suppression, breaking free from all kinds of shackles would allow us to enter a whole new world. Lo Feng paused, then said solemnly, just like how we start off with the laws, we have to achieve our breakthrough via the laws to enable God country to break through the bottleneck. And once God country passes the bottleneck, it will naturally start to evolve and transform into a miniature universe. On the other hand, to start off by godly power, the perfect life gene of a universe master is 10,081 times. This is the limit. Starting off by godly power requires one to surpass this limit, to enable one's godly power to evolve into a whole new level. Once our godly power has evolved, the body and soul would follow suit. This is what it means to use force against technique. We are utilizing our absolute power to overcome and break free from the shackles. Once we achieve our own breakthrough, the capacity to bear the weight of God country would naturally increase. That is when we can propel God country to break through its bottleneck and start its evolution into a miniature universe. All the universe masters present there were now listening, wordlessly. The various races within Universe Ocean all seem to be blindly crossing the river, together, with no concrete direction or aim to advance into. Because of the small numbers, it was impossible to establish a systematic way of study. And there was no one, like a super great being, to take leadership for strategizing or for organizing to ensure conformity and integration of members. Break free from the shackles. Lo Feng said then we can control our fate. From there, the laws will have to retreat, and the tables will be turned. We will dictate while the laws follow. Starting off with godly power is extremely difficult, while starting off with laws is relatively easier. I would suggest starting off with the laws, then moving on to figure out how and what we should do. Chapter 1249, The Turning Point for the Human Race. Starting from the laws, use the simplest and most general way to explain. Staring from an undying, one will start by learning certain fundamental laws like gold laws, wind laws, and many more. After becoming a universe knight, one will shift to studying laws like time laws and space laws. Actually, the path of the laws was to consistently climb up from a lowest, most minute point, and the ultimate target is for the ten fundamental laws of gold, wood, water, fire, earth, wind, lightning, light, time, and space to be completely unified. And also, they must all be combined into a unified law of chaos. The moment Lo Feng gave this explanation, everyone revealed shocked expressions on the spot. Even Huge Axe Creator was so taken aback he rose to his feet. Opposite Huge Axe Creator's host seat, another host seat appeared out of nowhere. Along with it, a white-robed figure appeared. Did you mention the law of chaos? said the white-robed man. He stared at Lo Feng, and in his eyes, there was a kind of light that no one had seen before. Teacher Origin, Huge Axe Creator was shocked. Teacher, Primal Chaos City Leader, Darkness, and Ice Mountain were all surprised and delighted. They immediately bowed respectfully to greet him. Others like Peng Gong Master, Ching Dong Master, Void Gold Master, Long Yan Master, and Deserted Mirror Master were excited beyond words as they shouted, Teacher Origin. Lo Feng was also shocked to see this white-robed man before him. He, was the legendary Teacher Origin? Judging by his appearance alone, Teacher Origin looked like any ordinary man. He looked like a perfect introvert with the perfect innate character. He gave people around him a sense of comfort, like the refreshing spring breeze. He was on a totally different scale compared to the other great beings. Lo Feng, did you say Law of Chaos? Teacher Origin asked persistently. Yes, Lo Feng replied without delay. Everything takes form because of the law of chaos, and the ultimate goal is for everything to return to the origin in order to comprehend the ultimate law of chaos. However, if we do manage to comprehend the law of chaos, then the power we gain will be even more formidable than that of Duan Dong rivers. The law of chaos, in other words, is the ultimate law. Gold, wood, water, fire, earth, wind, lightning light, time, and space are the ten fundamental laws. 
we can use them to compose various combinations like the combination of gold and space to form the golden space path, or the combination of wood and space to form the wooden space path. We can even form the eight beast gods path, whereby the eight beast gods path can also form various combinations among themselves. Of course, the combination of gold and time would be the golden time path, and that of fire and time would form the fire time path. As Lo Feng was speaking, Hugh Jacks could not help interrupting with his questions. Gold, wood, water, fire, and earth are the five main elements. Do they not belong to the space type? How can they form a complete combination with time? Everything is possible. Lo Feng replied with a smile, because everything is formed amidst chaos, everything is possible. There are three laws that can be possibly combined or even four laws. Or maybe as many as five laws can be combined. Lo Feng shook his head, then continued, of course. It is just like how some of the basic materials found on mineral planets can be used to form numerous universe planet ships. The ten fundamental laws will ultimately become the law of chaos. The mysteries, experiences, techniques, and hardships involved can get unbelievably trying. Burying one's head or trying one's luck will not equate to success. Anyone from the ancient civilization will know that the ten fundamental laws will ultimately become the law of chaos. Even for the pulse of Duan Dong River, when it has chosen the absolute heir who is extremely gifted and provides limitless guidance to help him in his cultivation, there is a possibility that this heir may be able to attain mastery of the law of chaos, but such cases were very rare. Lo Feng had seen the core inheritance, how the true god stage might be cultivated thereafter, and how many levels it was divided into, no one knew. However, from some things that were occasionally said about it, one could roughly come up with some information. For instance, a memory stone from the core inheritance once said that the number of people from the pulse of Duan Dong River who had mastered the laws of chaos was a miserable few. What did this prove? 1. Not only 1. 2. The most powerful three generations of ancestors from the pulse of Duan Dong River stood at the pinnacle of that ancient civilization. They were the strongest beings of the pulse of Duan Dong River, and since there was not one but three of them, he had obviously surpassed the level of mastering the law of chaos. Lo Feng merely gave a short talk about the law of chaos since he knew very little about it. He only knew about the process of progressing from an undying to reach the ultimate limit of a universe supreme master, true god. Thereafter, Lo Feng continued to analyze the path of the laws on an even deeper level. Everyone present, including Hugh Jacks, listened exceptionally carefully. The white-robed teacher Origin only looked on, observing everything happening without saying much. What attracted his attention was merely the information on the law of chaos. Nothing else mattered to him. Since he had been suppressed for such an endless time, if he were to head out, he needed full confidence in the fact that he could transcend a reincarnation. And if he dared to say he had full confidence, then naturally, he must have broken through the true God stage and reached another level that was beyond that of a universe supreme master. This was why what Lo Feng was talking about was something new and slightly interesting to him. What was truly helpful to him was the part mentioned earlier that the ultimate target was to master the law of chaos. Earlier, teacher origin was still at a loss as to where he should start. Now, he had a direction. He knew he should follow this path and advance into the law of chaos. Teacher Origin was watching everything happening before him. The white-robed Lo Feng was preaching. The other universe masters were listening intently. The scene tugged at Teacher Origin's heartstrings as he reminisced, a long, long time ago, I also used to preach, just like what I am seeing now. I am the one who brought the human race up to ranks of a pinnacle race and made possible the first major turning point for our destiny. And this Lo Feng, he brings with him the wisdom of the entire ancient civilization, and he will be the one to bring about the second major turning point for my human race.
And this time around, the change will be much more impactful and far-reaching. He understood that with Lo Feng teaching all he had learned, the human race would gradually undergo transformation, the number of universe knights would consistently increase, and there would be more and more universe masters emerging. Even the number of universe supreme masters would gradually increase. After this reincarnation era came to an end, the human race could become the greatest power in the entire universe ocean. Even stronger than the two holy lands. Humans. Destiny. Turning point. Teacher Origin listened silently. Although he was not sure whether he could possibly survive the suppression and gain his freedom, he still could see that in the future, the human race was going to be strong beyond words. Lo Feng's preaching. Its influence would be pervasive. Lo Feng started out with using layman's terms to give a brief overview, then proceeded talking about some major guiding theories at great length. Thereafter, he started to give a thorough elaboration of the various difficulties involved within each theory and how they should try to achieve breakthroughs and to become a universe supreme master. From a universe master, the topic of guiding theories alone took Lo Feng more than three months to complete sharing. Starting from the path of the laws, it took up almost every minute of his time to complete whatever he needed to say. If he were to start from his godly power, it would only take him half a day. Because it was so difficult, few in the ancient civilization would want to begin their cultivation with godly power. Therefore, information related to this area was naturally a small amount. Probably only half a day's time was required. These are all guiding theories, guiding thoughts. Lo Feng laughed. That is why it does not take me long to finish talking about them. When I return from the universe boat, I will bring back more detailed information about secret techniques of the inheritance. For example, information on combat methods. It is just that, all these techniques are boundless. Verbal sharing alone isn't enough. Perhaps I could use my memory to show you all, but that would take far too long. Lo Feng had depended on the memory stones to infuse a large amount of memories into his mind, and that process alone took ages. Such a vast and powerful secret technique. Even thousands of eras spent preaching about it would never be considered enough time. Similar to the law of combined attacks of the Divine Eye Clan, some unique secret techniques? The combat secret technique of a universe supreme master? Everyone was filled with eagerness to know more. Lo Feng gave a hearty laugh and said, A universe supreme master? From an undying to the ultimate limit of a universe supreme master, such a secret technique and various combat secret techniques, even if there are thousands and millions of them, they mean nothing much because there are simply too many. There were countless manuals, indeed, a deluge of them. Previously, in the basic inheritance he accepted during the selection of candidates, Lo Feng had seen the 360 blade techniques. Now that he had become the master of a space of inheritance, among those 100 million inheritance stones, there were some that could contain thousands of different techniques within them. Those the pulse of Duan Dong River had collected were simply too numerous to keep track of. Of course, various manuals were only for reference purposes, to teach us all about the techniques universe supreme masters had, said Lo Feng. The more secret techniques you expose yourself to, perhaps you may develop an interest for something. The guiding theories and secret techniques are provided for reference. Anything more than these, you can only depend on yourselves. After all, this is a huge threshold. The difficulty levels of becoming a universe knight and a universe master are nothing compared to this. This is much tougher. External supplementary aid aside, this is entirely self-dependent. Everyone fell into deep thought, even Primal Chaos City Leader. It had been an impactful three months for them, and they all knew they should go about trying their best. But whether they could eventually succeed or not depended on themselves. After all, knowing and being able to achieve something, were two matters exclusive of one another. In Flame Ice region of the Universe Boat, within the Boat of Mausoleum, amidst the cultivation space of the space of inheritance. Lo Feng heaved a sigh of relief. Finally, my lesson is done. He shook his head helplessly. I had not expected huge axe creator to be such a difficult character to deal with.
sharing my teachings with the other teachers about how they can become universe supreme masters took me slightly more than three months at most but sharing what i knew with huge acts about how to cultivate to the ultimate limit of a universe supreme master actually took 12 years, sharing his knowledge with Primal Chaos City leader and Darkness Master, Lo Feng was burning with passion and filled with hope for the future of the human race. On the other hand, while sharing with Hugh Jacks, he had started out with excitement, yet, toward the end, simply found it toilsome. I shall continue to study, then, Lo Feng continued to bury his head in comprehending right away, what he had accepted was the foundation of an entire ancient civilization. How extensive was that? Although everything was in his memory, studying it all certainly required a long time. Thus, Lo Feng was forced to make choices regarding what he should or should not comprehend. He would mainly focus on two areas namely, close-range combat blade techniques and spiritual weapons. It had been 9,106 years since Lo Feng had become an heir. The studies have come to an end. Lo Feng opened his eyes. I may have acquired an immeasurable amount of knowledge, but it does not mean that the more I learn, the better my power becomes. I still must move on to cultivating the knowledge I have acquired. Knowledge alone was useless. Knowing how to use the knowledge was crucial. The three core sets of lost knowledge of the pulse of Duan Dong River were Duan Mie, which literally meant, annihilation, Dong Hua, an undying river. They constituted the knowledge he had acquired but had yet to learn how to use. He had given himself ample time to devise paths of advancement regarding his blade technique, spiritual weapons, and others. The paths that he would take. He already had them in place, yet not a single step was made. Annihilation, is the most powerful body of knowledge for combat. It can unleash an incredible power in an instant. For now, even if I rely on the blade technique at the level of a universe supreme master, I am still weak in terms of godly power, maybe only at the fifth tiered stage. If I were to make use of annihilation, the body of lost knowledge created by three generations of ancestors. Tisk, tisk. It's a hefty price to pay. If I use this move, the consumption of my godly body is going to be massive. Dong Hua is pretty important to me. As for Undying River, there is no pressing need for it now. I have another body now, so there is no need for the cultivation of Undying River. When I have become a universe supreme master and all my bodies combine into one, when I only have one original body, then I will need to cultivate Undying River. Lo Feng put Undying River aside for the time being and started his cultivation of Annihilation. And Dong Hua, Chapter 1250, Space of Treasures. In East Emperor Universe, a cluster of palaces was constructed atop the mountains, and the entire palace grounds were divided into nine areas. If one were to look down from high above the sky, the view would seem like a gigantic beast where the whole cluster of palaces exuded an interminable air of malice. This was where North True Star Master resided, where there was a large number of undying servants and a handful of disciples who had come to seek advice. In the main hall, North True Star Master's avatar was seated in an elevated position within the great hall. With drooping eyelids, he was talking incessantly about the law's path, and in the middle of the hall, there were almost 100 universe knights who did not dare to get the least bit distracted. All were listening attentively. A. Eh? The universe knights seated beneath were all shocked when they realized that North True Star Master had suddenly stopped talking. They immediately looked up at him with doubtful expressions. We will stop here for now. All of you take your leave, North True Star Master suddenly commanded. Although all of them were quite confused, they obeyed with reverence. Yes, teacher. Then they left the hall together, where only North True Star Master remained high up where he sat. Ancestor. North True Star Master shouted respectfully. A figure radiating a faint green light appeared. This was East Emperor Ancestor, and his appearance also brought about changes to that space. Within the Great Hall, no one from the outside could see what was inside, and so, there was no way they could discover anything. 
East Emperor Ancestor's voice rumbled and resonated within the Great Hall. I have ordered you to bring along ten Universe Masters to stand guard in the Flame Ice region. Did you happen to chance upon Milky Way Horde leader Lo Feng? North True Star Master bowed and replied respectfully, Ancestor, since the inheritance ended, and after Blue Blood Knight and the rest failed, I acted according to your orders and stayed to keep watch at Flame Ice region. I was never the slightest bit neglectful of my duties. There are various routes from all directions with the boat of Mausoleum as the anchor point. Every moment when there were Universe Masters, I was keeping a close watch. No matter how powerful that Milky Way horde leader Lo Feng is, he would never be able to sneak away. Yet, after such a long time, I have not discovered any trace of him at all. Seems like he has not come out of the boat of Mausoleum. Do not lose vigilance, East Emperor Ancestor said coldly. Maybe there were other Universe Masters who helped him escape. I have considered various situations thoroughly, North True Star Master reported. Hiding within world rings that other great beings carry, then leaving secretly. This is definitely a possible scenario, yet a personal round of investigation showed that any great beings from other regions who tried in vain to go near the surroundings of Boat of Mausoleum were all stopped short. So far, we have blocked off 39 Universe Masters and 2 Universe Supreme Masters. Our clan is powerful. A face-off with us would not end well, so until today, no one has dared to forcibly barge their way in. No one dared go in. Of course, it would not be possible for anyone to take Lo Feng away. True, East Emperor Ancestor nodded with satisfaction. We must catch hold of Lo Feng. He has the inheritance of the pulse of Duan Dong River. It is extremely important. Catch him, no matter what price we have to pay. Understood. North True Star Master replied with respect. East Emperor Ancestor briefly nodded. To East Emperor Holy Land, it was not considered beyond reason for almost 100 Universe Masters to die. There was a limit to the number of Universe Masters that the East Emperor Holy Land universe can accommodate, and furthermore, it had existed for far too long and had accumulated a large batch of expectant Universe Masters. Blue Blood Knight, for one, was an expectant Universe Master. Once another Universe Master was annihilated, another batch of expectant Universe Master would very quickly make a breakthrough. To the high and mighty East Emperor Ancestor, he was clear on what an inheritance of the pulse of Duan Dong River meant. Just a small portion of it could translate to infinite uses. Deep within the internal domain of Universe Boat, within the vast flame ice region, there was not a single great being in the surroundings of the Boat of Mausoleum. North True Star Master and ten other Universe Masters were scattered in their various hiding places, keeping a close watch over their designated regions. Ancestor just came looking for me, North True Star Master notified via his transmission token. Again, during our time of standing guard, Ancestor has looked you up thrice, North True. Seems like Ancestor places much importance on this inheritance. Throughout my entire life's journey, I have never seen him get so uptight over anything before. How can we not treat this with such reverence? You see, all ten of us are definitely ranked within the top 20 universe masters within East Emperor Holy Land. Out of ten, three of us already had supreme true treasures. But now, Ancestor has specially taken out seven supreme true treasures from the accumulated treasures the clan has collected over untold years, just for us. North True Star Master and the ten of us, now, each of us holds a supreme true treasure. Throughout Universe Ocean, I think only Purple Moon Holy Land and our clan will be able to achieve this. And for Purple Moon Holy Land to be able to take out so many supreme true treasures, I suppose that will require them to put in their utmost effort. Even for our clan, this was an extremely heavy burden. True, we all have a supreme true treasure. When confronted by a universe supreme master, we shall have no fear. Just one low fung? Besides, North True Star Master only requires a fleeting moment to break free from the reins of the universe laws and speedily catch up with him. North True is the true principal force this time around. All of these universe masters held high social statuses. 
even if they were conversing with North True Star Master and the few other Universe Supreme Masters, they were usually on equal social standing. They were truly the top-tiered elites of East Emperor Holy Land, yet all of them were stationed here in endless waiting, just to apprehend a single Lo Feng. This went to show how determined East Emperor Ancestor was. In the boat of mausoleum, in the space of cultivation within the space of inheritance. Experiencing the long course of cultivation. Oh, how long it was. The lost knowledge created by three generations of ancestors is all the more profound beyond comparison. I can't stay here all the time. Sitting cross-legged on the grass patch, Lo Feng opened his eyes with a slight frown. I still have to create my blade technique and complete several other tasks. And apparently, now, I feel that my law comprehension is simply too weak. The laws were one of his shortcomings, as he needed to get the pair of white wings to recognize him as its master. Golden Beast Path was stuck somewhere close to the completion of its seventh form. There, it remained stagnant, as Lo Feng simply did not dare to continue cultivating it. Besides, without truly comprehending the Golden Space Law prior to studying secret techniques, there would be a blemish that would affect the progress of studies to a certain extent. As the studies got more profound, this influence would become more apparent. I must get out of here as fast as I can. I must get that pair of white wings as early as I can. Then I must cultivate Golden Space Path right away. First and foremost, I must break through to a Universe Master first. Upon breaking through to become a Universe Master, the Godly Power would change. Godly Power represented the body. It also represented the soul. When soul and consciousness became stronger, it would be helpful in cultivation. And after the laws were complete, studying the techniques would get much easier. Moreover, he also planned to comprehend all the ten fundamental laws, which were gold, wood, fire, earth, wind, lightning, light, time, and space. His goals were far-sighted, and plans were extensive, so he had to improve fast enough. But it was still more advisable to seize that pair of white wings to achieve a breakthrough to becoming a universe master prior to further actions. As for the boat of mausoleum and the space of inheritance, I shall just bring everything along with me. When I return to the primal universe, I shall leave the boat of mausoleum and space of inheritance within my god country. That is the safest place. Given my current combat ability, my earthling original body can unleash a fifth stage top tiered power. As for the endless remote ocean, even if I rely on Duan Mie, synonymous with annihilation, to boost the burning up my godly power, given the vastness of the endless remote ocean, the burning of godly power would not mean much even for a universe supreme master. It would be possible for him to fight his way out. Lo Feng was very confident. Nine Remoteness Master was a Universe Master, but when relying on Nine Remoteness Ocean, he feared no Universe Supreme Master. Lo Feng, although his godly power was weaker by a notch, had blade techniques comparable to the beginner level of a Universe Supreme Master. This made up for the difference in godly power. Also, Duan Mie made it possible for him to unleash an extraordinary outburst of power. The amount of power unleashed could even become overkill. This was merely the ability of the impressive remote ocean. After all, if Lo Feng's earthling original body and golden horned beast body were to make use of Duan Mie, their godly bodies would be consumed too fast. That was why he would not use it so readily. In the space of inheritance, Lo Feng took one step out and passed the entrance of the space to arrive within the space of inheritance where there were various planes of treasures. Treasures. Lo Feng raised his head to take a look. He was surrounded by a void space, and a towering treasure mountain stood before him. At the top of the mountain peak, dazzling, brilliant streams shot up into the sky, all of which radiated boundless power. Every stream was strong enough to send tremors through Lo Feng's mind. It was as if hundreds of universe supreme masters were self-destructing. It was a landslide of power. A total of 322 precious treasures. Lo Feng held his breath. 
generations of Duan Dong River, accumulating for countless years to finally reach a collection of 322 precious treasures. What a pity that I can only choose one, and this must be returned while I am still alive. This was the role. Generations of Duan Dong River had been doing so. Usually, they would take one piece. For those who were more powerful and had greater achievements, they might even be able to return two or three pieces even though they only took one, which was considered a way of contributing to the pulse of Duan Dong River. All these would be automatically recorded on the stone tablet of that treasure mountain. All these treasures had a special name within the ancient civilization, the Meta Embryo. Meta, held a highly respected meaning in the ancient civilization. Any treasure's name prefixed with this word was considered a top-tiered grade treasure. Embryo, on the other hand, meant the growing fetus. For a great being, different treasures were needed at different times. For instance, an undying with a supreme true treasure was useless because he was unable to use it at his level. That was why, even though true treasures might have emerged to full form, there was no way a great being could use them all the time. That was where the term, meta-embryo, came about. The meta-embryo was a unique treasure that had yet to take full form, so even undying fighters could start to use it, and, anyone could incorporate personal comprehensions of secret techniques into this treasure, where it would then have more secret engravings. For instance, Star Tower was extensively infused with layers of secret engravings, but the meta-embryo had none. It was blank and empty, and yet, merely relying on its basic power, it was already extremely strong. A user could continuously infuse secret engravings, just like refining a true treasure. It was easy to infuse a meta-embryo with secret engravings. For example, earlier on, Lo Feng had created three great blade techniques. Foggy Light Void Space, Golden Universe, and Nirvana Renaissance. Of these three, Nirvana Renaissance was a blade technique that had reached the level of a universe supreme master. Even for Lo Feng, he had to be fully focused in order to come up with a sketch of such incomparably massive secret engravings and to execute this technique. The moment these secret engravings were all infused into the meta-embryo, there was only the need to drive it to execute it. Using the meta-embryo even while manipulating other true treasures in times of battle would not be a concern. And Nirvana Renaissance could ride on the power of the meta-embryo to execute an even greater force. This was the meta-embryo. It was capable of continuous growth. As it got more and more powerful, more important secret engravings could be further integrated into it. And while it was growing, a meta-embryo was able to accompany an expectant great being until that great being matured to the most pinnacle level of the ancient civilization. At that time, the meta-embryo would also mature into a frightening top-tiered treasure. I can only choose one piece. What should I choose? How about the blade embryo? Lo Feng looked at the treasure mountain and heartily wished that he was allowed to take a few more pieces. Chapter 1251 Blade Named Blood Shadow The mountain of valuables was built by the three ancestral teachers, and it had many restrictions as well. Each inheritor owned a mark of inheritance, which was why they could take an embryo. Otherwise, they wouldn't be able to do that. Zz. Lo Feng walked on the mountain of valuables and looked around. The traces of light were so powerful that they could instantly kill universe supreme masters. However, with the special constraints of the mountain of valuables, each embryo was suppressed. Spiritual force weapons. Close combat weapons. Countless special weapons. This is a machine. Lo Feng looked around. There was an oval fortress which was as large as universe boat. This giant fortress had 18 levels of attack units, and the engravings on them were blank, which required users to fill them. There was also a special boat, and the boat was actually a world of manufacturing, which contained lots of conditions for making true treasures. There was another golden embryo, which was Gia Mu embryo. It was weak at the beginning, yet it had great potential. When it was cultivated, it could follow the path of the bug race to have a huge army, or to follow the elite path. Either way, it was much better than the bug clan queen. 
There was also a giant, human-shaped machine that could be used as armor. It could be used as a mech or a puppet. It had different uses depending on how it was reconstructed. The components inside didn't have any engravings, and they could be reconstructed in many ways. In the ancient civilization, there were close combat, distant attacks, automaton, valuables making, and miscellaneous techniques. The former four were the mainstream, while the fifth one was a combination of all special techniques. Each category had many branches. Close combat and distant attacks were extremely complicated. As for the automation category, there were, sea of machines techniques, original body techniques, and, fortress techniques. The embryos of the different techniques were different as well, and there were 72 types of embryos of automation. No wonder automation was so popular in the ancient civilization. Lo Feng looked at all the embryos and he was tempted. This is too powerful. Even if someone is less strong in laws and techniques, he can still kill his enemies with these machines. Unfortunately, I can only choose one. Lo Feng stood at the mountainside and looked at a giant stone blade. It was enormous. Even though it was plugged inside the mountainside, it was as tall as the entire mountain. There was gleaming light around the blade, and the shape was exquisite. There were three blade embryos. One of them is broad, one of them is thin, yet this one is my favorite. The more Lo Feng looked at it, the more he fancied it. It looks just like the blood shadow blade, yet it has a larger handle so that I can grab it with both hands. I'll take it. Lo Feng walked to the front, held his breath, and put his hands on the large stone blade. Just as he touched it, a film showed up on the blade, and countless law engravings started to flow, which were much more complicated than the law engravings he saw in the iceberg. Hong, the entire mountain of valuables started to tremble, and the corners started to glow. The engravings were shining along with the film. There was an inheritance mark between the eyebrows of Lo Feng. They were resonating. And then, the films and light all disappeared, and Lo Feng's life mark was branded on the giant blade. This blade embryo might be with me forever, until I reach the top or until I die. Lo Feng lowered his head and stroked the blade. I'll call it Blood Shadow. It had simple Chinese characters on the blade. He'd used lots of blades as he grew up, but with his power growing, he'd been changing his blades. Now, he had finally found a blade that he was going to use forever. Blood Shadow Blade. Blood Shadow Blade is so powerful that I can't even measure it, thought Lo Feng. I might as well not take the blade out if I don't want to kill my enemies. The blade embryo was the only weapon he got after he became the new generation of Duan Dong, River, and it was an exceptional weapon. It could already crack the space without being driven by any techniques or godly power. Plus, it could already rival the power of a fifth-level top-tier universe master. Even supreme true treasures couldn't be this powerful without being driven. It was a valuable that was superior to supreme true treasures, and there was only one level of engraving on it. Former generations of Duan Dong River, thought Lo Feng. Even if you despise those supreme true treasures, you can at least put some in the space of inheritance. Other than those valuables embryos, there wasn't a single supreme true treasure. The stones of memories left by former generations of Duan Dong River had clear records. Each generation of Duan Dong River only left an embryo. As for other true treasures? Other skills? They needed to be fought for by the following generations of Duan Dong River. After all, the juniors needed to fight to grow, and they couldn't do so if they only depended on the valuables left by the seniors. The silver-armored form of Lo Feng left the space of valuables and entered the main area of the space of inheritance. He stood in the sky. Come, Lo Feng waved his hands, and a trace of light flew toward him and floated in front of him. It was an octagon token the control center of Boat of Mausoleum. The former generations of Duan Dong River didn't leave any machines for me in the space of inheritance. However, this Boat of Mausoleum is a machine. And my Shi Wu wings are a machine as well. Lo Feng easily controlled the center of the Boat of Mausoleum. Space of Inheritance, and, Blood Shadow Blade, were the most precious objects, followed by Star Tower and Shi Wu Wing, then followed by Boat of Mausoleum. 
Shi Wu Wing and Boat of Mausoleum were both machines. Boat of Mausoleum wasn't very powerful, yet he could control some dangerous components inside, so it was definitely a machine. As for Shi Wu Wing, it was an original body fighting machine. This kind of machine usually just helped its user. Shi Wu Wing would only be a mere true treasure if it didn't have an origin. The origin was like an engine, and the godly power of great beings was transformed into terrific energies through the origin. They were let out through the wings. Flame Ice Region. Boat of Mausoleum, floating in the sky, immediately disappeared. A silver-armored and silver-booted man carrying a stone blade appeared. Teacher Primal Chaos City Leader said that both Eastern Emperor Holy Land and Purple Moon Holy Land have great beings hidden here to catch the Inheritor. Lo Feng looked around and hid the boat of Mausoleum and Space of Inheritance. However, I'm not afraid of them now. I hope they leave me no choice but to use Blood Shadow Blade. Lo Feng waved his hands, and a bloody tower showed up. It was Star Tower. Lo Feng went into the tower and flew away. He made the technique Nirvana Renaissance, and it had the power of the fifth level universe master with crazy demon extermination godly armor. If he used Blood Shadow Blade, which was superior to Supreme True Treasures. Although I can't fight universe supreme masters now, they can't kill me. Lo Feng was confident. Once I become a universe master and have more godly power, Lo Feng would be the most terrific universe master in the history of Universe Ocean. Universe masters only had six levels before. However, Lo Feng might have been at the seventh or even the eighth level. Chapter 1252, Block Him. How big was the boat of Mausoleum? A group of super great beings with North True Star Master as their leader had been keeping the other party from East Emperor Holy Land under close watch. Not even one dared to let his guard down. Even without other various means of detection, they could see the boat of Mausoleum in the distance with their naked eyes. The boat of Mausoleum has disappeared. Disappeared? It was here just a moment ago, and the boat of Mausoleum has suddenly disappeared. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Milky Way Horde leader Lo Feng must have acted. Everyone, be mindful of every single corner. Do not let him get away. North True Star Master and the other ten Universe Masters were on high alert. From their position, although they could see a big object like the boat of Mausoleum without any visual aids, Lo Feng was now on board his Crimson Tower, which was extremely small, so small that it was impossible for the human eye to detect it. As for their other detection methods, they had not dared to use any of these to cover any region within the boat of Mausoleum before, because they were all afraid of incurring the wrath of that Duandong River. All of you better keep your eyes open. North True Star Master tensed up right away and started giving orders. You cannot be the least bit careless. The moment anyone discovers any palace-type true treasure or any flying objects, you have to stop them. Do not ever let Lo Feng escape. Understood. Understood. One by one, the Universe Masters replied. Ancestor has already reminded us countless times. North True Star Master shouted. This matter is of utmost importance. And at domains even further out from the peripheral area, other groups of powers from Purple Moon Holy Land and the First Reincarnation Era are all laying ambush. Everyone wants to be the one to catch hold of that air, so we must be careful not to let the other groups of power gain any advantage over us. North True, we all have supreme true treasures throughout Flame Ice region. None of the other groups of powers are as well equipped as us. How are they going to fight us? All were triggered with the same discovery. The lofty boat of mausoleum that was suspended in mid-air had suddenly disappeared. Not only East Emperor Holy Land realized this, but one by one, the other groups of powers from Purple Moon Holy Land and First Reincarnation Era, even the various other groups of powers that were all waiting in ambush further away, started to realize what had happened. The various groups of powers that were originally as peaceful as calm waters were, at that moment, all starting to stir with excitement like bubbling water about to reach boiling point. The boat of mausoleum has disappeared. The air is about to make an appearance. This is our clan's final hope of transcending reincarnation. 
catch that air, no matter how great a potential this air has, no matter how big a threat he is. Just like how any great being who wants to grow up needs time, even if this heir has received the inheritance, there is no way his power can improve by leaps and bounds in such a short time. Once Doomsday arrives, all of our clan will be exterminated. In the face of Doomsday, nothing else matters. There is no need to bother about whether we are up against East Emperor Holy Land or Purple Moon Holy Land. Holy Land Universe, so what? Just grab it. This is our final hope. First true master, third true master, fourth true master, fifth true master, and sixth true master of the Divine Eye Clan looked at one another. Since the competition for the inheritance began, two from their group had been annihilated. Now, there were only five true masters left in the whole Divine Eye Clan, and this time around, for the sake of catching that air, all five of them had gathered. However, gathering too many gifted talents in the same place and at the same time could bring devastating results. Having already suffered a great loss, the Divine Eye Clan was careful to maintain a low profile this time around. Let's lay low and watch first. We shall just let Purple Moon Holy Land and East Emperor Holy Land battle it out. And the other groups of powers from the first reincarnation era, the fight for the air is not that simple. True, to be able to receive the inheritance from the pulse of Duan Dong River, that heir must have great survival means. To catch hold of him is not easy. We shall observe the situation first and find the perfect opportunity. Then all five of us will act together. With our combined power, we will catch that heir in one swift move. Yes, five pairs of eyes were ignited with blazing light. This time, it would be a battle major enough to change their destiny. At one point in time, the entire flame ice region was raging like a storm with various groups of powers laying ambush. Among them, the majority did not even know who the air was. But that did not matter to them. All they wanted was to catch that air. If Blue Blood Knight is the one appearing, then we will catch Blue Blood Knight. If Milky Way Lo Fung appears, we will catch Milky Way Lo Fung. This was everyone's plan. Lo Feng Long knew that a gigantic net was laid to ambush him the moment he made his way out into the outside world. His human race had warned him in advance and told him to stay inside the boat of mausoleum for the time being if he did not have the confidence of surviving. But Lo Feng had skills and guts, so he was filled with confidence. Gigantic net or not, I will break through it all. The Crimson Tower transformed into a stream of light and advanced at high speed. The miniature Crimson Tower was so tiny that it could easily escape the naked eye. This. Flying Palace. I discovered a flying palace. It is that Crimson Tower. It's low fangs. Mi Ya Master from East Emperor Holy Land immediately transmitted his sighting to the others. He is heading toward my region now. North True Star Master was greatly delighted and immediately transmitted his reply. Mi Ya, I am rushing over now. Great. Mi Ya Master also transformed into a streak of light without further delay and advanced along the same route to welcome the oncoming tower. Hong. Hong. Hong, North True Star Master manipulated his supreme true treasure and advanced at a speed that was so fast it exceeded the limit of the universe laws. The acceleration was 1000 times that of light speed, then increased to 10,000 times, then up to 100,000 times. In a split second, it soared all the way up. And yet Lo Feng merely maintained his speed at 100 times light speed. Mi Ya Master had yet to meet up with Lo Feng. North True Star Master had already arrived. A voice was transmitted to the Crimson Tower right away. Milky Way Horde Leader, how about making a trip to my holy land with me? East Emperor Holy Land Ancestor will be most pleased to meet you. Um, within the control room inside the Crimson Tower, Lo Feng stood with a stone blade on his back as his gaze penetrated through the obstruction posed by the walls of Star Tower to look at the outside world. East Emperor Holy Land? Lo Feng whispered. Truly worthy of being a top power. Still the first to act. That must be North True Star Master. I heard he has been obstructing various other groups within the boat of Mausoleum for quite some time. 
North True Star Master. Lo Feng communicated right away via voice transmission. I have some urgent matters to tend to back at the original universe. After I am back from there, I will make my way to East Emperor Holy Land. It won't be too long at all. What do you think of my suggestion? Seems like even to my holy land ancestor, Milky Way Horde leader is not intending to show due respect, North True Star Master said politely, even though he was sneering on the inside. Return to the original universe? If Lo Feng truly set foot in the original universe, all other parties would not be able to enter. Then it would become impossible to catch him. Is this the way East Emperor Holy Land invites its guest? By forcing the invitation upon them? Lo Feng was still very composed and confident. Humph, then blame me not. North True Star Master manipulated that gigantic, black, polyhedral sphere and parked it at a spot above the Crimson Tower. Then one of the surfaces of the gigantic black sphere suddenly cracked open to reveal a large, empty hole. An incredibly strong suction force acted and pulled on Star Tower without warning, attempting to forcibly suck Star Tower into the hole. Keep, North True Star Master said, manipulating it to the very best of his abilities. Hump, the Crimson Tower under the attack of the suction force suddenly vanished into thin air. In its place was an even smaller boat of mausoleum. A moment prior, when Lo Feng met with the attack of that suction force, he was unwilling to put Star Tower at any risk. Even though Star Tower was a supreme true treasure and should have been competent enough to ward off such attacks, Star Tower required his godly power to activate it. With the gigantic net that was set outside to besiege him, relying on Star Tower alone might be too tiring, whereas with an automaton type like the Boat of Mausoleum, things would be much easier. The Boat of Mausoleum had also been remodeled by Duan Dong River. Regardless of what supreme true treasure was used, trying to take it down by force was out of the question. Also, it only required a little consumption of Lo Feng's godly power. Then he could use the various energies from the boat of mausoleum to activate it. Everything was simple, yet the power he could execute was strong. The boat of mausoleum, North True Star Master looked down and saw a vessel appearing. His expression changed instantly. This was a special boat of mausoleum that had undergone Duan Dong River's remodeling, and it was where the Divine Eye Clan's second true master and seventh true master had met there. Ends. Surrender to me. North True Star Master tried his best to make use of the suction force, of his supreme true treasure to take the boat of mausoleum into captivity. Hong, the suction force was useless, whereas the boat of mausoleum started to expand with a rumble, and grew insanely big. Previously, the boat of mausoleum was the size of a fist, but in the blink of an eye, it became a massive vessel around 100 billion kilometers long, and this massive boat of mausoleum started to take flight, advancing in a mighty manner, paying no heed and showing no response to the suction power that North True Star Master was executing over it. Not good. North True Star Master was aware that it would be impossible for him to try to consume this boat of mausoleum with his suction power. Block him. Hong, North True Star Master continued to manipulate the gigantic black sphere and rammed into the boat of mausoleum with a thunderous boom. How fast was he flying that black sphere? The boat of mausoleum was merely maintaining its speed at 100 times of light speed. There was no way it could evade the collision. Like Mars hitting Earth, this gigantic black sphere crashed straight into the boat of mausoleum. Bang! The boat of mausoleum merely gave a slight tremor. Then the impact of the collision was entirely diminished as it continued to advance in its mighty manner. Can't be stopped. North True Star Master was getting very distressed. This, this, this Lo Feng is using his godly power to drive that boat of mausoleum. How can he be so powerful? The boat of mausoleum was an automaton type. To activate and drive it, a part of it required godly power. The other part of it depended on the power of the boat of mausoleum itself. Furthermore, this boat of mausoleum had been remodeled, regardless of the aspect, be it defense, strength of impact, 
flight, etc., it was much more powerful than an ordinary boat of mausoleum by 10 times or even 100 times. If an ordinary boat of mausoleum was considered to be a normal boat, then this vessel that was remodeled by Duan Dong River himself would be considered a universe planet ship. Naturally, it was on a different level. It was not on the same scale of comparison. North True Star Master, let me stop him. M.I. Ya Master had now made his way over. Hurry, hurry, and trap him, North True Star Master said. Go! A massive purple light immediately sliced across the sky and started to expand. It continuously expanded as it enveloped the boat of mausoleum from behind. This massive purple light was, in fact, a supreme true treasure in the form of a strange and special web. It was specially designed to restrain and entrap enemies. Bind, bind, bind. M.I. Ya Master was trying his best to keep the situation under control. Yet regardless of how the purple web tried to bind and restrain, block and obstruct, the boat of mausoleum continued to advance mightily. The purple web was only a cover over its surface like a decorative layer of cloth. It did not have any influence over the boat of mausoleum whatsoever. Can't stop him. I can't stop him. Miya Master's level of anxiety reached a new high. Then, then just attack. Even North True Star Master was getting fidgety. The suction force was not working. Resistance was not working either. Neither was the supreme true treasure used to bind and trap enemies. How else could they stop Lo Feng? This boat of mausoleum can completely block off all forms of godly power. North True Star Master was in great distress now as he immediately transformed into a dazzling streak of light. This massive, arc-like light viciously struck the boat of mausoleum, which merely gave a slight tremor in response. Thereafter, as though nothing had happened, it continued to advance mightily. Useless. North True Star Master glared after it. Even material attacks are pointless. Any and every method was futile against the boat of mausoleum. Attempting to trap it would be asking for the impossible. There was no trace of sentimental attachment displayed by the boat of mausoleum. It continued to advance at high speed, making its way far into the distance. And in the distance, there was a large crowd of super beings from the Purple Moon Holy Land and the First Reincarnation Era. Ha ha! This boat of mausoleum is very powerful indeed, said Lo Feng. Maybe I should just drive it like this, recklessly and haphazardly, and barge out of the universe boat. Lo Feng was carefree and at ease, disregarding all the supreme true treasures and universe supreme masters in his path and moving ahead with such reckless behavior. This feeling was certainly refreshing. It was the charm of an automaton-type true treasure. Chapter 1253, Adil. Hong. Long. The massive boat of mausoleum advanced mightily. It was unstoppable. What should we do, North True? M.I. Ya Master asked via voice transmission. If we still don't stop him and let him advance further, he will soon go beyond our area of control. In the peripheral region, there is Purple Moon Holy Land, and the group of power from the first reincarnation era, such a large group of super great beings out there, there are even as many as 20 to 30 odd universe supreme beings present. I know, North True was also very anxious. He was aware of the situation. Lo Feng might have been an heir, but the groups of powers from the universe ocean honestly did not fear this heir. Without even considering those from the first reincarnation era, who did not even fear their quickly approaching doomsday and were capable of doing anything, it was just these two holy land universes, with the commands given to them by their two great ancestors, they were naturally even more fearless. This time, East Emperor Holy Land was relying on the quantity of supreme true treasures it had. And it was also relying on the fact that the other groups were not united and that this was within the innermost control region. There were other reasons, of course, for why other groups of powers were willing to stay on the periphery. Other than their lack of unity and strength, the more important reason was that they did not believe that an heir of the pulse of Duan Dong River could be so easily apprehended. At most, if they saw that the situation was unfavorable to them, they would charge forward with brute force. 
what should we do, what should we do? North True Star Master was anxious and frustrated, racking his brains to thinking of ways to stop Lo Feng or to trap him. Go! North True Star Master stood within the void space and with a sudden wave, a gigantic polyhedral black sphere instantly transformed into a dazzling ray of black light. As it continued flying, the black light ray grew thicker and larger. In terms of physical size, it was bigger than the boat of Mausoleum. Soon after, a loud rumble was heard as the ray of black light crashed straight into the boat of Mausoleum. The boat of Mausoleum trembled but was not the least bit damaged. In his state of anxiety, North True Star Master's avatar in the Holy Land universe asked East Emperor Ancestor for help right away. Ancestor, Ancestor, said North True Star Master, that Milky Way horde leader, Lo Feng, is driving the boat of Mausoleum out, but we are unable to stop him. Even our supreme true treasures are useless. What should we do now? East Emperor Ancestor appeared out of nowhere. Can't apprehend him? Can't stop him? No way, no way at all. North True Star Master replied, This boat of Mausoleum is much more powerful than the one we obtained previously. After Duan Dong River remodeled it, this boat of Mausoleum is extraordinary. No matter what method we try, nabbing, entrapping, bounding, or even soul attacks and material attacks, all means are to no avail. East Emperor Ancestor was frustrated, too. What could be done? This time around, he had sent out a team of their top 10 best 6th tier universe masters to support North True. And he even gave North True Star Master several Supreme True Treasures. Even if the enemy had a supreme true treasure palace, by right, North True Star Master should be able to entrap him without much difficulty. Duan Dong River's reputation is well earned. East Emperor Ancestor frowned. You have been following Milky Way Horde leader Lo Feng, he shouted. Make sure you have him in sight at all times. This time, it is not only us. That purple moon is also after him especially the lunatics from the first reincarnation era who are willing to do anything. You should make sure you follow him close enough and wait for your chance to strike. Once the perfect opportunity arrives, snatch it from Lo Feng. What if I fail to snatch it away? North True Star Master asked, very worried. What a joke. More than half of the universe supreme masters from the first reincarnation era, a handful of universe supreme masters from the second reincarnation era, and probably one or two universe supreme masters from the primal universe had turned up to lay ambush. This area alone had 20 to 30 universe supreme masters, not to mention the number of universe masters, which was similar to that of the universe supreme masters. It was chaotic to a certain degree, and regardless of how formidable he was, it worried North True Star Master that he might not be able to catch hold of Lo Feng. What if you fail to snatch it? East Emperor Ancestor hesitated for a while, then gave his orders. You will do this. After he had finished listening to East Emperor Ancestor's orders, North True Star Master was in great shock. This, this, this is too. North True Star Master was in disbelief. Just do as I say, East Emperor Ancestor instructed. Yes, North True Star Master replied deferentially. But in his heart, he was mumbling his complaints as he thought to himself. Lo Feng is certainly one lucky fellow. Flame Ice Region, because it was where an heir of the pulse of the Duan Dong River from the ancient civilization emerged, therefore it became the region where a great number of great beings from the universe ocean gathered. It's the boat of Mausoleum, the heir is driving the boat of Mausoleum out now. East Emperor Holy Land did not manage to catch or stop it. Our chance is here. Action time. In the external domain, Purple Moon Holy Land alone was not enough to fully control the situation, and the various groups of powers from the first reincarnation era were so anxious that they could not hold back at all. One by one, the universe supreme masters were all launching attacks right away. Up in mid-air, streams of powerful yet terrifying attacks were launched so extensively that they could easily contort and shatter an entire space. There were some who tried in vain to swallow the boat of Mausoleum, and there were some who directly threw attacks to create a commotion. 
the more chaotic it was, the higher chances the weaker ones had to fish in troubled waters. Hong, Pung, Wa, the boat of mausoleum vibrated and trembled repeatedly. Roar, a gigantic beast that was longer than one light year came roaring by. Its huge, scaly wings were outspread, and its mouth opened to reveal a bottomless black hole. In one gulp, it devoured the boat of mausoleum. Pung, Hong, Hong, almost instantly, a total of nine supreme true treasures were crashing and ramming into that gigantic beast, causing it to tremble and quiver, then collapse and disintegrate. Loathsome, from afar, Divine Eye Clan's first true master, third true master, fourth true master, fifth true master, and sixth true master look furious. Earlier, they had waited for the right opportunity to strike, and when they saw how the boat of Mausoleum was seemingly losing control over its ability of flight upon being continuously attached by various parties, they took immediate action, forming eternal true god beast and devouring the boat of Mausoleum in one mouthful. You idiots from Divine Eye Clan, are you thinking of seizing the air of the pulse of Duan Dong River? In your dreams, a huge skeleton seated on a faraway white throne let out a hoarse shout. My skeleton clan had our eyes on you all long ago. Skeleton clan, the five true masters of Divine Eye Clan got even more furious. The Divine Eye Clan from the first reincarnation era and the skeleton clan were formidable clans. When they were still living in the primal universe, the skeleton clan was once rampant throughout the universe, defeating other clans and groups of powers one after another. Their arrogance was beyond words, but after the emergence of the Divine Eye Clan, they quickly suppressed the skeleton clan. Since then, the skeleton clan had been kept under suppression. The two clans had fought one another for almost three reincarnation eras. Previously, when the seven true masters had joined forces, their concerted efforts had brought about complete suppression of skeleton clan, but now, with two fewer true masters, when the two clans faced one another in battles, it was virtually effortless for the skeleton clan. What a bunch of lunatics, being devoured in one mouthful by that gigantic beast earlier had certainly dealt Lo Feng a good shock. He had been prepared to manipulate the boat of mausoleum into high acceleration to blast the beast into bits and pieces, but at that moment, the other universe supreme masters had rained attacks on the beast, causing it to break and fall apart. Within just 10 seconds, 16 supreme true treasures were attacking me. Lo Feng was also thunderstruck while in the control hall of the boat of mausoleum. He had expected to find himself within an inescapable dragnet, yet it was still a shock to fall within one. After all, prior to these attacks, the universe supreme masters were still quite a distance away from him, and under normal circumstances, universe supreme masters would not stoop so low as to fight against those who were below them in terms of social status. The only time this happened was when virtual real devil god wanted to exterminate him, but his attacks had been warded off when double face ancestral god intervened. Virtual real devil god had not looked upon Lo Feng as a worthy opponent in the first place. To virtual real devil god, dealing with Lo Feng was a minor matter, or probably just a matter of convenience. This time, it was different. More than half of the universe supreme masters from the first reincarnation era and other universe supreme masters had all made him their target, and all of them were going crazy trying to seize him. Hong. Long. Ah woo! Roar! All kinds of noises resounded. Be it palace-type supreme true treasure or spiritual force, weapon-type supreme true treasure or close combat-type supreme true treasure, one after another, they all fell onto the boat of mausoleum. This was a great eye-opener of Lo Feng. All the supreme true treasures of the entire universe ocean added up was, in fact, quite a sorry amount. Normally, supreme true treasures were owned by universe supreme masters, and that very day, almost one-third of the total number of universe supreme masters were gathered at the same place, trying to seize Lo Feng. It's not working out, I cannot move this boat of mausoleum at all, there isn't even a scratch to be found on the boat of mausoleum, much less a crack. It continues flying ahead. 
we cannot even get it to stop. All the universe supreme masters first entered a state of frenzy. Soon, the realization dawned upon them of how terrifying the boat of mausoleum was. Even the major clans who initially wreaked havoc on purpose because they were afraid the other groups of powers would successfully seize the air did not dare to create more trouble. Similar to how the gigantic beast by Divine Eye Clan had been attacked until it crumbled the moment it was formed, various groups now seemed to have a tacit understanding that no one should start creating trouble. Suddenly, there was a surge of powerful attacks. I don't believe that with so many great beings around, a single boat of mausoleum cannot be taken down. Now that the skeleton clan is not creating any more trouble, we should act quickly. There was a frightening outburst of attacks. Three lofty, huge golden fingers appeared out of thin air and immediately grabbed onto the boat of mausoleum, but to no avail. The boat of mausoleum continued to fly ahead as it forcibly pulled the three huge golden fingers along with it. The gigantic beast of the Divine Eye Clan appeared once again to bite the boat of mausoleum. Yet the boat of mausoleum continued to fly ahead. The driving force of flight was so powerful that it could force the gigantic beast to fly along with it, and as it flew, it was continuously expanding at the same time. That very moment, the universe supreme masters from various groups of powers were getting anxious, and everyone started attacking in their attempt to break apart that beast. How could the driving force of flight of that boat of mausoleum be so powerful? Even for a palace-type supreme true treasure, while it can block off attacks from various parties, the most it could do while warding off attacks would be to remain unmoving at its spot. But this boat of mausoleum is able to continue flying. Its flying power is even more powerful than the total binding force of ten supreme true treasures put together. Joint efforts were futile. It could not be stopped. The various groups were aware. Lo Feng had no difficulty flying ahead until he was out of the universe boat and back into the primal universe. Ha ha. Within the boat of mausoleum, Lo Feng was exceptionally at ease. He was able to bring all the pinnacle existences of the universe ocean to their wit's end. Such a sense of satisfaction was simply unbeatable. A voice transmission was directed to the boat of mausoleum via godly power. Lo Feng, Lo Feng, who was in control of the boat of mausoleum, obviously knew. I am North True Star Master representing East Emperor Ancestor, and I would like to suggest a deal. North True Star Master transmitted his voice message. A deal? East Emperor Ancestor? Thoughts sprang up in his mind. In a faraway corner of Flame Ice region. Faintly, time and space were contorted. This contorted space concealed a green mountain. The pulse of Duan Dong River, truly worthy of his reputation. Sitting mountain guest looked afar with a smile. The previous Duan Dong River remodeled the boat of mausoleum to make it so powerful. Seems like I was overly worried. I would really love to take a look at the inheritance of the pulse of Duan Dong River. There should be much information on how the pulse of his Duan Dong River went about refining treasures. After all, this was one of the pinnacle inheritances. It was just that, under the willpower of the primal universe, even for this disciple of mine, he may not know the truly profound part of the pulse of Duan, Dong River. Sitting mountain guest gently shook his head. Soon after, this contorted space and time resumed normality. Sitting mountain guest had secretly left the scene. Chapter 1254. A Suggestion from Eastern Emperor Ancestor. Even if the universe supreme masters were using all the techniques they had, Lo Feng was still completely safe in boat of mausoleum. After all, after its recognizing Lo Feng as its master, Lo Feng knew all the power of boat of mausoleum. Besides, he concentrated on the deal proposed by North True Star Master. A deal with me? Lo Feng was shocked, and thoughts flooded his mind. Who's Eastern Emperor Ancestor? He was the ancestor of the oldest holy land of Universe Ocean, and he was also the richest one. What kind of deal? 
Lo Feng transmitted his voice. North True Star Master relieved as he finally got a response as it was better than nothing. North True Star Master transmitted his voice to the surface of Boat of Mausoleum. First, congratulations for getting the inheritance of Duan Dong River. About the deal, our ancestor said that he needs the inheritance. And inheritance you're about to get. Of course, the ancestor doesn't care about the valuables. Memory inheritance is all that matters. Memory inheritance? Lo Feng sneered. North True Star Master, don't you think Eastern Emperor Ancestor is overthinking? I got the inheritance after defeating hundreds of thousands of competitors. Why does the ancestor think he can just take my inheritance? Don't even count on it. We can offer everything. North True Star Master wasn't angry. He went on saying, Our race has the oldest holy land out of Universe Ocean, much older than that Purple Moon Holy Land. We also got lots of inheritance, and we even know some hidden secrets of Universe Ocean, and we also have the most supreme true treasures. As long as you say yes, the hidden inheritance, the secrets, and even supreme true treasures, just name your price. No deal, answered Lo Feng. Lo Feng was indeed tempted by the offer, after all, Universe Ocean was so mysterious and there were so many unknown things. Eastern Emperor Ancestor might know the best, secrets, supreme true treasures, they were all tempting him. However, memory inheritance was the utmost important thing in Duan Dong River bloodline, and he had made a vow, he couldn't betray the vow. North True Star Master said, it's just memory inheritance. Say no more. If this is the deal, then don't think about it, said Lo Feng. North True Star Master had expected this to happen. Eastern Emperor Ancestor had already told him that he didn't have much hope, and he also said that an inheritance that only had one inheritor each generation must have a way to prevent secrets from being let out. How about part of the memory inheritance? asked North True Star Master. Part? Lo Feng didn't refuse it. Which part does the ancestor want? North True Star Master rejoiced in his heart. It was good as long as the conversation was still going. Of course, the practice experience, said North True Star Master. Our ancestor wants the more complicated experience. Your ancestor truly knows what's the most valuable. Lo Feng grinned. Among the memory inheritance, there were three techniques left by the three ancestral teachers, which was the core of the core. There was normal core memory inheritance, which was gathered by each generation of Duan Dong River and recorded the experience of other supreme beings. There was also ordinary inheritance, which was made up of over a hundred million memory stones, and they were all basic inheritance, and only few of them could surpass true gold level. Without doubt, extremely complicated practice experience was invaluable. Even the experience from great beings outside Duan Dong River would be included into the core inheritance if it was collected by Duan Dong River. That Eastern Emperor ancestor wanted that kind of inheritance, which meant he knew how important it was. Unfortunately, extremely complicated and sophisticated practice memory inheritance was all core, so Lo Feng couldn't let it out at all. Perhaps I can trick him. Lo Feng thought. My race doesn't have a solid foundation, and we don't have enough valuables. Perhaps I can trick that Eastern Emperor Ancestor into giving me some supreme true treasures. Then we humans will be much stronger. After all, he was the only one who knew about Duan Dong River inheritance. Which meant it was likely that he could succeed. And there was no downside even if he failed. Eastern Emperor Ancestor wouldn't just rush out. The two ancestors didn't get out of Holy Lands during the inheritance in Boat of Mausoleum, and neither did they show up when he was being encircled. Obviously, there was something stopping them from getting out. Even the inheritance from Duan Dong River didn't persuade them to get out, not to mention some supreme true treasures. Hang, part of the inheritance. Thoughts flooded Lo Feng's mind. He said coldly after making up his mind, even I can't give out the inheritance of Duan Dong River. It's possible. North True Star Master secretly rejoiced as he knew a lot from Eastern Emperor Ancestor. He immediately added, of course, we won't force you to leak the information that you're forbidden to leak.
Our ancestor only wants the practice experience. Duan Dong River is so ancient, so it must have gathered lots of training experience of other supreme beings. You can just exchange those with my race. That ancestor indeed knows a lot. Lo Feng was shocked. Unfortunately, that Eastern Emperor ancestor didn't know that even the training experience of great beings outside Duan Dong River was included in the core inheritance. No wonder it's Eastern Emperor ancestor. He indeed knows a lot, said Lo Feng. There's indeed some experience of great beings outside Duan Dong River. North True Star Master got more excited. However, there was only inheritance of three supreme beings, said Lo Feng. It might be more than three. North True Star Master thought to himself, but he didn't ask more questions. Milky Way Horde Leader. Name your price. Our ancestor wants the inheritance from those three great beings, said North True Star Master. We can talk about my price later, said Lo Feng. Doesn't the ancestor know that the memory inheritance that surpasses universe supreme masters is affected by the will of the original universe? Ha ha, of course, he knows, said North True Star Master. However, Duan Dong River should be using something like memory stones to store the information. You're not powerful enough to know the information, yet our ancestor has already transcended the incarnation. Just give the objects like memory stones to our ancestor, and he can see it. Lo Feng was dazed. That was right. Though he couldn't see it, the great beings who transcended incarnations could. Can we talk about your price now? Asked North True Star Master. Ten Supreme True Treasures. The hidden inheritance of your race. And the secrets of Universe Ocean. Said Lo Feng. North True Star Master was shocked. It was a huge price. Ten supreme true treasures? Even in Eastern Emperor Holy Land, there were only few supreme true treasures as the ancestors never went out of Holy Land and only universe masters adventured universe ocean. Besides, the supreme true treasures were largely owned by universe masters themselves, so there was only a limited storage. If it was Purple Moon Holy Land, it might need to take supreme true treasures from other universe masters and universe supreme masters. Even it was Eastern Emperor Holy Land, it might use up all its storage. This, this is. North True Star Master wanted Lo Feng to cut down his price. Our race knows a lot about secret inheritance and secrets in Universe Ocean. What inheritance? What secrets? Those are just additional things, yelled Lo Feng. Do you really think the secret inheritance you know can rival mine? As for secrets? Those are just secrets a long time ago, and I just want to satisfy my curiosity. I have no problem not knowing them. North True Star Master felt helpless. Ten supreme true treasures it is. Besides, I need one for each category, said Lo Feng. North True Star Master was infuriated. It was not that easy. Even Universe Supreme Masters needed to fight for Supreme True Treasures. The Supreme Masters from Easter Emperor Holy Land were relatively weak as they didn't have their small universes anymore, so they rarely went out. As for Universe Masters, they couldn't match other Universe Supreme Masters, so they only had a few Supreme True Treasures. Lo Feng wanted ten? Didn't he understand that even the Divine Eye Clan only had around ten Supreme True Treasures? After three Universe Eras? Especially after the war in Boat of Mausoleum, there weren't even ten anymore because two True Masters died. Quickly make your decision. I don't have time to say long, said Lo Feng. You're too demanding. I need to ask our ancestor, said North True Star Master. Go, quickly. Lo Feng was certain that Eastern Emperor Holy Land could have them as even Divine Eye Clan had almost ten Supreme True Treasures. Besides, several Universe Masters had Supreme True Treasures with them this time, so even ten Supreme True Treasures were still a huge price for Eastern Emperor Holy Land. It didn't need all Universe Masters to contribute their Supreme True Treasures. Eastern Emperor Holy Land in the main palace of North True Star Master. Ancestor. North True Star Master looked at Eastern Emperor Ancestor. 3. Eastern Emperor Ancestor wasn't angry at all, instead, he looked glad. 
He nodded, if Lo Feng really has the training experience of three ancient beings, I can totally give him ten supreme true treasures. However, we can't just say yes like that, we need to talk to him. Supreme true treasures? It had nothing to do with Eastern Emperor Ancestor. The storage in the Holy Land or the deaths of several universe masters were nothing to the Ancestor. The training experience of those ancient supreme beings were truly valuable to him. However, I need to see whether the memory inheritance is actually worthy or not, said Eastern Emperor Ancestor. I don't want him to fool us with fake inheritance and take ten supreme true treasures, otherwise we'll be a joke. North True Star Master felt hurt. Ten supreme true treasures. There were only around a hundred supreme true treasures in universe. Ocean. Only the ancestors of the two holy lands would be willing to make a deal with ten supreme true treasures. Chapter 1255. A deal is a deal. Overhead, there was the endless lava ocean, and underneath, there was the endless black morass. One was burning hot, the other was icy cold. This was the dangerous flame ice region. At this moment, it had become the craziest of battlefields where numerous universe supreme beings of exalted ranks were using their supreme true treasures and thinking of all ways possible to stop that boat of mausoleum. Yet the boat of mausoleum continued to advance at high speed. Fortunately, the numerous universe supreme beings were capable of easily accelerating to a speed that exceeded 100 times the speed of light. Therefore, they were able to catch up far enough to hover around its surroundings. No need to talk about seizing it. We cannot even stop it. What should we do if we cannot stop it? Does it mean the three of us shall just have to follow it like that? So wherever the boat of mausoleum goes, we follow? Various groups of great powers were starting to grow anxious yet helpless. North True Star Master had already summoned the ten Universe Masters under his command and arranged for the siege on the boat of mausoleum with the combined power of these ten Universe Masters. East Emperor Holy Land's attacks were indeed powerful and dynamic, but North True Star Master was still depending on a domain-type supreme true treasure to establish contact with the boat of mausoleum for sustaining voice transmission with his godly power. Milky Way Horde Leader, Ancestor has made up his mind, North True Star Master said. A voice was transmitted from within the boat of mausoleum. Oh, North True Star Master gritted his teeth in silence. How detestable. He had lived for countless years as a universe supreme master, and never had he seen anyone who possessed ten supreme true treasures at once. Even the two great ancestors. Before they transcended their reincarnation era, never did they own as many as ten supreme true treasures, and they had to finally transcend reincarnation before they were acknowledged as the greatest contributors to their clans. That was also when they gained control over their clan's fate. Unquestionably, they became the ancestors of the entire clan. Therefore, the common treasures belong to the clans, even valuables belonging to universe masters and universe supreme masters. So long as ancestors gave the command for them to contribute their valuables, they had to obey. This was because, if not for ancestors, the entire clan would not be able to survive through three reincarnation eras. This went to show that even the two great ancestors were not able to depend on their own abilities to gain ten supreme true treasures. What a lucky fellow that human is. North True Star Master's face was twisted with displeasure. The moment he recalled East Emperor Ancestor's orders, he felt even more jealous. First, he had gained what was said to be the most precious inheritance within the entire universe ocean. Now, merely taking out some of his inheritance, he had gotten himself ten supreme true treasures. My ancestor has agreed to the exchange of ten supreme true treasures. North True Star Master transmitted his message via his godly power. Promise? Lo Feng stood up from his chair swiftly, and with eyes shining brightly, he paced the hall. This was a crucial moment. It was also an extremely important moment for the fate of humanity. If this was his own inheritance he was talking about, the experience he could offer from all the cultivation he had achieved from that ancient civilization would bring about a turning point for the fate of human race.
However, a turning point of such a nature entailed a kind of change that would gradually unfold over a long period of time. After all, great beings required long years to slowly cultivate, and no one could guess when the next universe supreme master of the human race would arise. But a supreme true treasure was able to bring about a fundamental change to the ability of a human. What the human race lacked was a supreme true treasure. If ten supreme true treasures could be given to them, a few of their top-tiered life forms, especially huge axe creator, could be equipped with two or three supreme true treasures. Then he would certainly be able to run rampant throughout Universe Ocean, just like Teacher Origin had before he was suppressed. As for Primal Chaos City Leader, Darkness Master, Pong Gong Master, and a few other top-tier figures, if they owned some supreme true treasures, they could be like Deer Bug Master and the few others who reigned predominance when they were, within Universe Ocean. They were fearless even in the face of Universe Supreme Beings. With such a superior power, the human race would become stronger. Lo Feng's mind was churning at high speed. The coming negotiation will be crucial. East Emperor Ancestor will not foolishly hand over ten supreme true treasures right away. This negotiation will determine the fate of humanity. Ancestor might have promised. North True Star Master started to say. But Milky Way Horde Leader, we need you to be clear about one condition. After all, we are talking about ten supreme true treasures. Within Universe Ocean, not a single group of powers would be able to take ten supreme true treasures out so readily. Our ancestor has to practice vigilance too, so I will need to first verify the authenticity of the inheritance that Milky Way Horde Leader has given. Once I have verified that everything is real, I will hand over ten supreme true treasures right away. Verify? Lo Feng snorted coldly. How do you verify? Of course, East Emperor Ancestor will personally take a look at the inheritance because only Ancestor will be able to confirm the authenticity, North True Star Master said. North True, are you taking me for a fool? This is a memory inheritance. One look at it, and you can learn all about it. If East Emperor Ancestor were to look at it, he would be able to learn all about it. By then, should he decide to change his mind about giving me the supreme true treasures? What could I do? Lo Feng was furious. And verifying its authenticity based on what you have just mentioned is solely dependent on East Emperor Ancestor's judgment. I think you are taking me for a fool. Let's talk things out. North True Star Master quickly replied, No matter what, we have to verify the authenticity. If not, what if you have given us something fake? By just handing over ten supreme true treasures, what would we from East Emperor Holy Land? All right, Lo Feng said curtly. Since you all are so worried, let me suggest something. If you are not agreeable, then we shall call off the deal. What did you have in mind, Milky Way Horde Leader? North True Star Master replied. Lo Feng was firm and decisive. The proposal I have is simple. I have an inheritance of the ancient civilization that includes the cultivation experiences of three ancient existences, and the three different sets of cultivation experiences are stored in three different memory stones. Your side will first hand over three supreme true treasures as collateral. I will give you one memory stone in exchange. Your East Emperor Ancestor will look and judge, since you say that he will naturally be able to tell if the stone is real or fake. Whatever he decides, real or fake, I simply can't be bothered to ask, but the bottom line is. If you want the next memory stone, you have to give me another four supreme true treasures in exchange for it. As for the last memory stone, you will need to use the remaining three supreme true treasures in exchange for it. Lo Feng was in a strong position. He paused, then added, this is my only proposal. If you find it agreeable, then we have a deal. If not, so be it. This, this, this is asking for too much, North True Star Master immediately said. Three supreme true treasures as collateral? Milky Way Horde Leader, if the memory stone is not the real thing, then isn't it like our three supreme true treasures will be gone for nothing? No, this is definitely not acceptable. I think it is better for you to first ask East Emperor Ancestor. Lo Feng sneered unfeelingly. 
I believe three supreme true treasures may be massive to the other clans, but to East Emperor Holy Land. They are nothing much. If you are so stingy with such a small price, then you can forget about this inheritance. North True Star Master was negotiating with Lo Feng while reporting the situation to East Emperor Ancestor. This deal was highly influential, so North True Star Master did not wield such authority to act as he pleased. But for East Emperor Ancestor, as one of the greatest existences throughout the universe ocean, he would not fall under Lo Feng's influence easily. He instructed North True Star Master decisively. For the three memory stones, he said, the first one will have one supreme true treasure as collateral. I will use this to verify the authenticity of the memory stone. For the second round, we will use five supreme true treasures to exchange for the next stone. And for the third round, we will use four supreme true treasures to exchange for the final stone. The negotiation process had both sides speaking with gritted teeth. They both took firm, resolute stands. Various means were deployed, all of which served to sound out each other's baselines. Between them, North True Star Master played the role of the messenger. The deal between Lo Feng and East Emperor Ancestor was finally settled. The terms of the deal were, for the first round, two supreme true treasures would be used as collateral, and out of the two, one was to be a palace-type supreme true treasure. The reason Lo Feng made such a request was because if he wanted to wander and roam in the three most dangerous lands within Universe Ocean, a palace-type supreme true treasure would be urgently required, which made it extremely precious. For the second round, four supreme true treasures would be used to exchange for the next memory stone. For the third round, four supreme true treasures would be used to exchange for the final memory stone. The venue for exchange, within Universe Ocean, inside the degenerated and dilapidated miniature universe No. 0921. The time, further notice would be provided upon Lo Feng's safe return to the primal universe. Inside the boat of mausoleum. Ha ha ha. Lo Feng could hold back no longer and let out a hearty laugh. Two supreme true treasures. With these two supreme true treasures, if huge axe creator, who already has a godly axe, is equipped with a palace type supreme true treasure, he will have no trouble dominating universe ocean. He could be invincible. Lo Feng was very satisfied with this outcome. Huge Axe Creator might have been powerful, but he had yet to be considered invincible. Since his godly axe was an attack type, it was lacking in terms of ability to defend. This was partly why Huge Axe maintained a low profile despite being such a powerful figure. But there is something strange. Throughout the entire universe ocean, only the two ancestors from the two holy lands are able to see the information stored within the deeper level of the memory stones. Lo Feng tried to address his own doubts. East Emperor Ancestor has already come looking for me. Why is Purple Moon Ancestor so quiet? When he realized that he was unable to catch me, did it not occur to him to strike a deal with me? Lo Feng speculated. However, Lo Feng did not know much about these two ancestors. After all, for countless reincarnation eras, it had always been these two ancestors who stayed on. These two ancestors must have met with various extraordinary opportunities to make it so far. Now that East Emperor Ancestor had volunteered to fall under his mercy, Lo Feng would not feel any pity if he had to deal a vicious blow. But Purple Moon Ancestor made no move. So Lo Feng was careful to not make a reckless move. No matter what, only the things that are served on my plate are mine to devour. Lo Feng said to himself. I will first settle the deal with East Emperor Ancestor and get those two supreme true treasures first. The fact that Huge Axe Creator took a long time to obtain his godly axe spoke much about the difficulty involved in obtaining a supreme true treasure. Star Tower had been a gift from Sitting Mountain Guest, yet the process of getting it to recognize him as its master was the one time he was brought close to meeting his doom. The pair of white wings had been discovered only because Shi Wu, wings had sensed it, and Blood Ghost Blade. Actually, Blood Ghost Blade was only a blade, embryo, and did not own any secret technique of its own. Lo Feng had injected it with the technique known as Nirvana Renaissance. 
Even though it was only a blade embryo, it was stronger than any other supreme true treasure. This was a piece of treasure that he had obtained with his own ability. After all, he had fought against numerous great beings and had undergone various selection processes to finally emerge as the heir to that inheritance. The boat of Mausoleum wandered about. At times, it would even head toward the dangerous areas on purpose. For instance, occasionally, it would charge its way into the lava ocean. Or occasionally, it would charge its way into a windstorm. Deep within the internal domain, even Pinnacle Palace true treasures could be torn apart, but with his boat of mausoleum, Lo Feng dared venture into dangerous regions. This was because he was clearly aware of the power of the boat of mausoleum, and he had a detailed map of the universe boat, so he dared to roam about haphazardly just to force the universe supreme beings hot on his heels to give up. Loathsome. Amidst the endless black whirlwind floated a palace with a sharp peak. In the palace, five true masters of the Divine Eye Clan were roaring as they looked out, to see the boat of Mausoleum leaving far off into the distance. Escape, escape, escape. Even first true master, who was usually composed and poised, could not hold back his rage and shouted furiously, Give up. We will give up. It is pointless to continue chasing after him. I do not believe that this human, Lo Feng, can hide in his boat of mausoleum forever. The path of a great being shall always be fraught with life and death encounters to steal and hone one's skills. I have never heard of any single great being who could steer clear of any battles and yet still become a seasoned and well-trained universe supreme master. Right, if he wants to become a universe supreme being, he has to succeed in this reincarnation era, he has to experience the life and death encounters to steal and hone his skills. He has gotten the inheritance of the pulse of Duan Dong River, so if he truly wants to steal and hone his skills, he has no other choice but to exchange blows with a universe supreme master or subject himself to risky adventures within the three most dangerous lands, unless he does not want to become a universe supreme master. If not, he has to undergo life and death encounters, which he will have many chances to experience in the future. The various groups of powers were reluctant to give up. Asterisk in the virtual universe, on a lone plane before Hugh Jack's godly palace. The various races have to give up in the end, ha ha. Hugh Jack's creator laughed heartily. Lo Feng is truly brimming with confidence. I have told him about the dangers lurking in the outside world and asked him to inform us in advance when he has finished receiving the inheritance. I shall personally escort him to safety. I certainly did not expect him to say nothing before directly maneuvering that boat of mausoleum and charging his way out alone. The boat of mausoleum is indeed extraordinary. Primal Chaos City leader said, also nodding. Suddenly, a figure appeared. Lo Feng, Primal Chaos City leader said in surprise. Hugh Jack's creator rose to his feet to express his welcome. Teacher, Hugh Jack's creator, Lo Feng said with a smile, I have a piece of good news for both of you. Chapter 1256. Let's set off for Tilted Peak Sector. Other than the two Holy Land ancestors, Hugh Jack's creator was known to be one of the top great beings within the whole universe ocean, and Primal Chaos City leader was even more composed by nature with a steady disposition, while the inheritance of the pulse of Duan Dong River was able to send these two into disarray, and get them all worked up. The deal with East Emperor Holy Land that Lo Feng had now appeared to inform them about also came across as a shock to both of them. 10 Supreme True Treasures Primal Chaos City Leader could not help but exclaim, No matter how powerful one is, seizing 10 Supreme True Treasures is an impossible mission. Up until today, no one has ever independently seized 10 Supreme True Treasures, said Hugh Jack's creator. Even for teacher ancestor, I think it would also be too difficult to achieve. After all, when a universe supreme master wields his power with a supreme true treasure, even teacher origin will not have the confidence of complete annihilation. Especially if the universe supreme master is hiding in a palace type supreme true treasure, he will be safe even if he is confronted by another great being of universe ocean.
The very thought of killing another great being to steal his supreme true treasure is simply unrealistic. Hugh Jack's creator nodded. He looked toward Lo Feng with an expression filled with approval and admiration and said, Lo Feng, you have created a new record. Impressive, primal chaos city leader said, burning with passion. Lo Feng replied right away, I am not the impressive one. The impressive one is the inheritance of the pulse of Duan Dong River. Indeed, if a universe supreme master hid within his palace type supreme true treasure, then no one would be able to force his way through. Not even teacher origin could achieve that. Only certain unique environments within the three most dangerous lands or some techniques of ancient civilizations could bring them to annihilation. Fortunately, palace type supreme true treasures were rare. This was why teacher origin could become such a strong deterrent force. Not ten of them at one go, that's too exaggerated, Lo Feng explained. That East Emperor ancestor is not so foolish. Even for his own East Emperor Holy Land, taking out ten supreme true treasures would be a massive responsibility to shoulder. He would never give ten of them to me without seeing that inheritance for himself. That's fine. Hugh Jacks laughed with gaiety, just the collateral for the first part of the deal, we can secure two supreme true treasures, one of which is a palace type supreme true treasure. With these two, our human race will gain more clout. We may be powerful enough, but the moment we are besieged, we are in deep trouble. Nothing much to say for now. We must first make this palace type true treasure ours. With it and my godly axe working hand in hand, I will truly be fearless. Anytime I am confronted with a siege, I will not have a trace of fear. I will have the guts to fight ten, or even more than ten, universe supreme masters all by myself. Lo Feng could not help bursting into laughter. Huge axe creator was certainly. Indeed, I am desperate for this palace supreme true treasure, Hugh Jacks said, regardless of whether it is your sharing with and teaching us about your experience with the ancient civilization's various systems of cultivation, or this supreme true treasure, your contribution to the race is boundless. This palace type true treasure is a great favor that I owe you. My intention was to contribute it to the race in the first place, Lo Feng replied. He already had Star Tower. Why should he make such a specific demand for this, then? It was really just for huge acts. Having wandered about Universe Ocean, he had deeply felt the cruelty as various groups of powers fought one another. When different clans crossed paths, the best case scenario would be cruel killing because of a true treasure. On the flip side, the killings could be as terrible as mindless slaughter, even without the temptation of a true treasure involved. However, the stronger a group was, the less inclined the others were in daring to advocate provocation. If one's race had a top great being of Universe Ocean, then that race was certainly on a different level of prestige. The moment other races crossed paths with any human great beings, the first to come to mind would be Hugh Jacks, and none of them would dare stir up trouble. He was the pillar holding up the race. This time, there are two supreme great treasures. Hugh Jacks looked at Lo Feng. One for me and one for you. No, the other one is for teacher, Lo Feng said and looked toward Primal Chaos City Leader. Me? Primal Chaos City Leader was slightly taken aback. Hugh Jacks was the pillar of support for the human race, so giving him a supreme true treasure would greatly benefit the race. Besides, Hugh Jacks had contributed greatly to the human race. It was a given that he was a deserving recipient of the supreme true treasure. Everyone would peacefully accept this decision. And Lo Feng's contribution was equally great. He was the one who earned the supreme true treasures. And with the inheritance of the pulse of Duan Dong River, his future was limitless. So if he were to be given a supreme true treasure, everyone would unanimously agree, too. By giving it to Primal Chaos City Leader? Lo Feng, you should take this, Primal Chaos City Leader said solemnly. This is a supreme true treasure. Yes, you should have it. Hugh Jacks agreed with equal solemnity. We cannot have you constantly contributing without any reward. Teacher, I have the inheritance of the Pulse of Duan Dong River. Do you think that as an heir to the Pulse of Duan Dong River, there won't be any weapon being prepared for me? 
Lo Feng jested. The moment he said this, Hugh Jack's creator and Primal Chaos City leader looked at one another, with the same thought in mind. True, what Lo Feng said made sense. The inheritance of the pulse of Duan Dong River would indeed prepare the most suitable weapon, for its heir. And the power of this weapon would certainly be quite superior. Supreme true treasure? Hugh Jack's creator asked with some surprise. Um. Lo Feng nodded. The categorization of weapons within Universe Ocean was very defined, so long as the secret techniques of true treasure weapons could attain the level of a universe, supreme master or beyond, all of these would be supreme true treasures. Supreme true treasures top the ranks in Universe Ocean. Even for any extremely formidable true treasure, for instance, one that exceeded the level of a universe supreme master, giving it to universe supreme masters would be a waste of a resource. The weapon would be beyond their capability to wield, and they would struggle to get the treasure to unleash its full power. This was why the blade embryo, Shi Wu Wings, and others were still considered to be supreme true treasures according to the categorization system of Universe Ocean. This will not do. Primal Chaos City leader shook his head. This is an opportunity that is hard to come by. A great being with two supreme true treasures, what about it? It means you will be safer. If you receive that inheritance, I believe you will be able to make it into the ranks of Universe Supreme Masters. It is only a matter of time. Teacher, let's take it, as I am the one who got this supreme true treasure, and then I handed it over to you, Lo Feng said with a chuckle. Primal Chaos City leader was momentarily shocked. It's a deal, then. Lo Feng stood up. I still have to make my way out of the universe boat, and that will take me almost 1,000 years. No rush, no rush. Shua, Lo Feng vanished into thin air. Primal Chaos City leader and Hugh Jack's creator looked at one another. Look, Hugh Jack's creator sighed. At the very beginning, who could have been worried that this Lo Feng, who was rising so rapidly, like Flame Emperor did, would be as selfish as Flame Emperor? A selfish but talented and powerful great being will, on the contrary, be a threat to his race. The truth? Lo Feng is indeed remarkable. He is much stronger than Flame Emperor and has met with more mysterious and magical opportunities and encounters, yet, he turned out to be a much better person compared to the majority of Universe Masters from our race. True. Primal Chaos City Leader also nodded in agreement. Great beings always considered themselves first. This was typical. The choices made at critical moments would explain certain problems. This time, Lo Feng unexpectedly dedicated the second supreme true treasure to Primal Chaos City Leader. Certainly, this was a gesture that touched Primal Chaos City Leader deeply. The boat of Mausoleum had shrunk to the size of a walnut, roaming about through the vast universe boat fraught with dangers. But, of course, it was heading in the direction that would lead to the outside world. Once it entered a domain that allowed for teleportation, it would carry out extensive teleportation to cover a more substantial distance as it made its way outward. Even so, the estimated time required to finally make it out of the universe boat would still be close to 1,000 years. Teacher has been showering me with so much kindness, Lo Feng said to himself. When I make it out of the universe boat, I will be able to seize that white pair of wings very soon. And the reason why I am able to seize them, in fact, the source of everything, is because from the very the beginning, teacher bestowed me with that pair of Shi Wu wings. Thus, I am able to obtain the white pair of wings. So now, dedicating this supreme true treasure to teacher is something I should do. Shi Wu wings were comprised of a total of six pairs of wings. It was an automaton-type treasure. The attack power it could execute was extremely strong, especially after conversion by the origin. This automaton-type treasure could usually allow a great being to skip grades in battles due to the increase in power. Therefore, in the ancient civilization, it was an extremely popular type, 
almost comparable to close-range combat-type treasures. However, the nearer one progressed toward the peak, the more difficult it was for an automaton type to advance because the closer one got, the more the stringent requirements would be expected of the automaton treasure. Without even considering skipping grades in battle, creating an automaton type treasure that was compatible with oneself was extremely difficult. Of course, in the context of the ancient civilization, Lo Feng was merely considered to be at an ordinary level. That was why owning Shi Wu wings would greatly benefit him. It's just a pity that even after adding on the white pair of wings, I still only have three pairs, Lo Feng said to himself. Where are the other three pairs? For countless years, Shi Wu wings has been broken up. The white pair of wings is damaged while the other five pairs are all severely impaired. Thus, their powers are greatly reduced. For the other five pairs of wings, every individual pair only has the power of an ordinary true treasure. So if any of them were seized by universe masters or universe supreme masters, they will likely be casually tossed into some treasure vault or bestowed to universe knights. Lo Feng thought about it for a moment. That was what Primal Chaos City Leader had done when he got hold of a pair of wings. He had handed them over to Lo Feng right away, and the second pair had been obtained from Tian Yang Knight. If any of the wings were really thrown into some treasure vault by random great beings or carried about by some universe knight within a certain miniature universe, then there was really nothing that Lo Feng could do further. I will have to depend on my luck. Then, Lo Feng told himself. Out of the six pairs of wings, the white wings are the sharpest and strongest. Most importantly, they bear the origin. Even if I did have the other three pairs, it would be meaningless. Lo Feng consoled himself in this fact. Getting out of the universe boat required close to 1,000 years. Lo Feng continued to comprehend and cultivate extermination and Dong Hua. Even with an increase of 10,000 times in time velocity, up until now, he had merely completed a thorough comprehension of the first volumes of Extermination and Dong. Hua. These two sets of knowledge were highly profound, even in the first volume. Lo Feng knew what must be done, but he was still unable to grasp the mysteries within them. In the blink of an eye, almost 1,000 years had passed. In one of the broken caves within the vast and quiet universe boat, Su, a crimson pagoda flashed by. Shortly after, it executed repeated teleportation and immediately charged out into the vast chaotic airflow. Ha ha ha. Finally, I'm out of the universe boat. Piece of cake, isn't it? After being in a rush for such a long time, within the crimson pagoda, Lo Feng laughed heartily. This crimson pagoda was actually Star Tower in another form. After he had shaken off the group of universe supreme masters that were after him, he had flown for more than 100 years before switching over from the boat of Mausoleum to continue his flight on Star Tower. Because the boat of Mausoleum was incapable of taking another form and was too eye-catching, once the other great beings caught sight of it, they could quickly guess that Lo Feng must be inside the boat of Mausoleum. That was why Star Tower was transformed to take on a new look. A crimson, three-storied pagoda. After such a long wait, I am finally out of the universe boat. Within Star Tower, Lo Feng was in high spirits as he looked out at the endless chaotic airflow. For such a long time, I did not dare to continue cultivating and comprehending the laws, as I was afraid that I would accidentally become a universe master. Then I would not be able to get the white pair of wings to recognize me as master. Cultivation and comprehension were concepts that were difficult to explain. When comprehending the heart of Beast God, which involved a secret technique of an extremely high level, it was inevitably easy for him to accidentally become a universe master. Or easy for him to achieve a breakthrough. Or even to experience a temporary pause for a short period at a certain threshold. Like when he had been stuck at the threshold of a universe night for a short period. But, unquestionably, even if he were to get stuck at a threshold, it would not be for long. Mainly because Lo Feng had accumulated a sizable amount of experience. Before I return to the original universe, I shall first head for Tilted Peak region where I will seize that white pair of wings. Let's set off. For Tilted Peak region.
space of the wings, low Fung manipulated star tower, and amidst the endless chaotic airflow, he started teleporting to advance toward his destination. Chapter 1257. Get back the white wing. It was far from Universe Ocean to Tilted Peak Sector, however, when using teleportation and natural wormholes, it took much less time than traveling inside Universe Boat. Wah! The water was tumbling in Tilted Peak Sector, and there was a bloody tower floating above the waters. Its Tilted Peak Sector, Lo Fung, in the body of Golden Horned Beast, was looking down in Star Tower. It's only been tens of thousands of years since the last time I came here, only tens of thousands of years. The White Wing hasn't found a master yet, his Shi Wu Wing had already had a spirit. The White Wing also had a spirit. If they were combined, only one of the spirits could survive, and with Lo Feng's affirmation, Shi Wu would definitely be the only one that survived. The spirit of the White Wing would be annihilated, which was why the White Wing had gone crazy the last time Lo Feng was there. It can't find a new master after countless universe eras, so it would be impossible for it to find a new master in only tens of hundreds of years. Lo Feng smirked. Shua. The bloody tower teleported and dived into the waters. It teleported itself several times in the water. With the supreme true treasure, he went straight toward the cave. Traveling along the dark cave and passing nine light screens, the bloody tower entered the wing space. Hong. Long. Long. Blade storms filled the entire space. The bloody tower shrank to the size of a speck of dust, and it approached that gleaming light wing. After almost a month, it finally reached the area in front of the light wing. White Wing, Golden Horned Lo Fung saw the core of the Light Wing, and the scratches and blood on it. The bloody tower kept approaching it. Now, the mind attack from the White Wing was nothing to Lo Fung. Wang, a ripple came from the White Wing and was passed to Lo Fung through Star Tower. Space Beast, said an ancient voice. The Golden Horned Beast pretended to be surprised and said, Who are you? I am the spirit of the Wing True Treasure said the ancient voice. The golden-horned beast made a surprised voice. The spirit of the true treasure? Then what's that mind attack and the blade storm? The ancient voice continued, but Lo Feng secretly smirked. To get the white wing back, Boat of Mausoleum was separated from Star Tower when it arrived at the periphery of Tilted Peak Sector. Boat of Mausoleum was hidden in the chaos airflow around Tilted Peak Sector with the Earthling, original body and Shi Wu Wing while the Golden Horned Beast came to take the White Wing. Lo Feng knew for certain that once the two valuables were merged, the spirit of the White Wing would die. So if the White Wing saw Lo Feng coming, it would do everything it could to prevent Lo Feng from taking ownership over it, and it might even kill itself along with Lo Feng. Even though the White Wing was only an object instead of a life form, it shouldn't have terrifying skills. However, to make sure everything went smoothly, he allowed the Golden Horned Beast to go first. The White Wing only knew that he was human. It didn't know he had a Golden Horned Beast body. Humph. After you recognize me as your master, you won't be able to do anything about it, thought Lo Feng. The Golden Horned Beast pretended to be incomparably excited to find a supreme true treasure, and he was talking with the spirit of the White Wing. The spirit of the White Wing rushed to recognize the Golden Horned Beast as its master, so he didn't lie to him the way he had lied to Lo Feng. Instead, it told the Golden Horned Beast the conditions directly. I'm more powerful than you think said the White Wing, and because of that, the requirements are very high. If you're a Universe Knight, you must have the willpower of a Universe Supreme Master. And if you're a Universe Master, your willpower must surpass that of a Universe Supreme Master. If you can't meet the conditions, tell the other great beings in your race to come. I've been lonely for too long, and I want to get out. The White Wing tried everything to persuade the Golden Horned Beast. Lo Feng sighed. Wow, it was being so nice. It had been very sneaky when his original body had come in, yet now, it was so passionate. Howl, are you being serious? Of course I am, said the White Wing. Howl, the golden-horned beast looked extremely excited. 
He roared, it's great, I arrived here easily and withstood that mind attack because my willpower is at the universe, supreme master level. Also, I'm a universe knight, so I meet the conditions. The spirit of the white wing was exhilarated. The thing it was most afraid of was being retrieved by Lo Fung, as that meant it would die. The whole process was very smooth under the guidance of the white wing. Seal your godly power on the wing, and then I'll recognize you as my master. The white wing was very cooperative. It wanted to leave the wing space more than anything, and it wanted to tell the new master that a human possessed another part of this true treasure. It wanted the new master to use it to kill that human. After that, it would swallow the spirit of Shi Wu Wing. I am the true spirit of the wing true treasure. That goddamn thing took so many energies from the origin. It has to die. The spirit of the white wing hated Shi Wu's guts. It was instinct. Succeeded. The golden horned beast yelled. Master, the wing is also damaged, said the spirit of the white wing. It needs to absorb some precious materials to recover or swallow some pinnacle true treasures. After the white wing being taken, the blade storms also disappeared, and the wing space became ordinary. Teleportation was possible now. Shua, the bloody tower reached the entrance after one teleportation. The spirit of the white wing was thrilled. Finally, the legendary universe ocean, the bloody tower left tilted peak sector and entered the deeper area of the chaos airflow. The boat of mausoleum, in the size of a walnut, approached it and sucked it in. The golden horned beast was sitting inside star tower. I can feel it. The strong attraction. Master, it's that human. The human who has the component. The white wing felt the calling. I used to be a mighty true treasure, but after that bloody war, it was dismantled, and the human got the other components. I can feel the attraction. He's nearby. The boat of mausoleum showed up beside Star Tower, and a human walked out. He was wearing a silver wing and silver armor with a stone blade on his back. The spirit of the white wing. Lo Feng looked at the white wing on Golden Horned Beast. You. The spirit of the white wing immediately understood. It could feel the absolute command, that it had to do anything the human wanted. Ah, oh, I should have let out all my energies. Damn human, the spirit of the white wing roared, realizing that it would die soon. In case anything happened, said Lo Feng coldly. Now, it's time for you to die. Actually, a single thought from Lo Feng could annihilate the spirit of the white wing. However, he preferred for Shi Wu Wing swallow it, as he could learn more. Merge, Lo Feng used his godly power to control it. Wah, the pair of white wings and the four silver wings floated in the sky at the same time and, started to integrate, the components connected to one another, and the origin was transferred to the bottom silver wing. After all, the silver wing was complete, so it didn't need to worry about an energy leak. The power spread when they were being integrated. Such strong power. Lo Feng held his breath. This machine type valuable must be better than the machine type valuables used by universe supreme masters. Lo Feng saw that the restructuring process was extremely complicated. The power stopped spreading, and the giant six wings were floating. The bottom four wings were complete. The top two wings had sharp edges, and there were lots of engravings on the edge, making them keener. According to the spirit of Shi Wu, the complete Shi Wu wing had six pairs. The other five pairs were like blade backs and blade bodies, while the white wing was like the edge. Come, the six-winged true treasure flew toward Lo Feng and merged onto his back. Wow, the six wings shone. Without any godly power, the true treasure slashed the space in the control room easily. Even without the origin, it can rival a supreme true treasure. Lo Feng exclaimed, if I use my Nirvana Renaissance, it might only be weaker than my Blood Shadow Blade. If I use the origin. Unfortunately, I can't use the origin yet. The origin was like an engine. It was used to store energies. 
When great beings use the complete six wings, the godly power should infuse the origin, which would transfer the godly power into something more aggressive. Energies in the form of blade storms. The energies could be stored in the origin, and in an actual fight, it could use the storage before using the godly power. However, the stored energies belong to the former master instead of Lo Feng. He could infuse his godly power into the origin and transform it into blade storms, but it would be much weaker. When he used the origin, he had to expel the energies from the former master. The two kinds of godly power were at different levels, so they couldn't be stored in one place. Once it exploded, it would be used up at one time, but Lo Feng couldn't utilize even one-tenth of it. The only way he could use it was to infuse his godly power to expel the energies left by the former master. When the former energies were expelled all at once, it would be extremely powerful, so Lo Feng didn't dare to use the origin. He only used his godly power to drive Shi Wu Wing, making Shi Wu Wing work like an ordinary supreme true treasure. Chapter 1258, Godly Blood Lo Feng wouldn't use the origin for no good reason. He had two thoughts on the origin. One idea was to use the energies stored in the origin to repair the complete wing true treasure. When he got the other three pairs in the future, just like how Shi Wu Wing absorbed a great amount of energies to repair its damage. Even though machine type valuables could repair themselves, they needed energies, after all. However, his energies weren't good enough to repair a supreme valuable like Shi Wu Wing's. This was one thought. Another thought was to use it as a trump card. Each blade energy was more terrific than attacks from universe supreme masters and could crack a top-tier palace-type true treasure. If all the hundreds of millions of energies exploded through the White Wing's edge, even a supreme true treasure would be cracked. As for universe supreme masters, they wouldn't be more doomed. Of course, he could only use it once. I'll try to find the other three pairs of wings and absorb the energies, thought Lo Feng. The energies left are enough to make attacks. Actually, the energies were enormous. Some of them were enough to kill a universe supreme master. However, he couldn't use them effectively. The bloody tower left titled Peak Sector and rushed to the original universe. Shi Wu Wing transferred a ripple. Master, the wing is damaged, so when it's triggered by your godly power, it'll be significantly weaker and will hinder the overall power. It has to swallow some precious material for repair, usually the main material for pinnacle true treasures. Directly swallowing pinnacle true treasures is fine as well, but it's too costly. And, more importantly, there are three godly bloodstains on the white wing, and they affect the overall power as well. However, after the three wings being combined, it's easier to expel the godly blood. But when it's integrated with the sixth pair of wings, it'll drive them out. Shi Wu Wing talked about it a lot on the way back to the original universe. After all, it had to suppress the bloodstains while being damaged, so it wanted the problem to be solved as soon as possible. I'll collect some material when I get back, but I don't have enough material with me now. Lo Feng told Shi Wu. He did have some true treasures. During the inheritance, lots of great beings were killed. However, the great beings who left before the basic inheritance took away the supreme true treasures and pinnacle true treasures. They saw the deaths of the two true masters from the divine eye clan, so they knew that not even palace type supreme true treasures could protect them. They also knew that only one could survive the basic inheritance, so almost none of them brought any true treasures. However, lots of true treasures had been left by some great beings who were killed by the Monster Cuello, the universe masters who got killed for trying to kill undying fighters, and the great beings from the Divine Eye Clan who got killed. The two supreme true treasures and a precious true treasure were given to Thundercoat Devil God by Duan Dong River while the other true treasures were left in boat of mausoleum and became Lo Feng's, which meant Lo Feng's biggest gain was the true treasures left. They came here just for the inheritance, so they're prepared for death. Lots of them didn't bring true treasures. Lo Feng exclaimed, there are only a pinnacle domain type, pinnacle palace type, and pinnacle soul type true treasures. 
as for ordinary pinnacle true treasures and top tier domain type and palace type true treasures there are only 12 of them those weaker than them aren't even worth mentioning they're not enough for Shi Wu Wing to recover. These valuables might be what a universe supreme master could have. Those who went for inheritance rarely carried precious true treasures except those like Seven, true master who tried to use Icecliff Fortress to save his life. Shi Wu transferred a ripple. Master. Huh? Lo Feng listened to it. There are four bloodstains on the sixth wing, said Shi Wu, and after an eternity, a bloodstain was driven out, forming a drop of godly blood. For the sixth pair of wings, under the influence of the bloodstain, the infusion of godly power would be negatively affected. He hadn't checked the sixth pair of wings. The complete wing true treasure has six pairs. Lo Feng got the first two pairs, and the white wing was the sixth pair of wings. So he still needed the third, the fourth, and the fifth pair. The godly blood must be the blood of the former owner of this wing true treasure. It contains endless power. Master, you can't use your godly power to cover it, said Shi Wu. You should firstly drive it out and then use your star tower to withhold it. Sure, Lo Feng grew excited. Godly blood? The godly blood of a supreme being who could damage the complete Shi Wu wing. The willpower alone was mighty, and such a drop of godly power could be put to great use. Under Lo Feng's control, a drop of scarlet blood showed up on the white wing, and there were drops of black blood around it. It fell on the floor of the control room of Star Tower. The floor sank like a bowl, and the drop of godly blood flowed and formed an oval. Normal valuables can't hold the godly blood. Lo Feng exclaimed. His godly power couldn't hold it. When great beings trained themselves, their bodies would be energized after becoming undying, and his life imprint was sealed on each trace of his energy. After becoming a universe supreme master, all the bodies were combined as one, and the energies would be materialized again. They could burn their flesh and blood to fight. The flesh and blood had more functions. The energy contained in this drop of blood was enormous, and the mental pressure is strong. Lo Feng thought. Universe Ocean nowadays might not be able to fully utilize the energies in this drop of godly blood. However, it's not difficult to turn this drop of godly blood into a soul type valuable. All I need to do is bind the mind attack in one direction. If the crushing willpower spread, only the best universe masters could hold the willpower. If it was concentrated in one direction, it would become a laser. Only the mind of a universe supreme master could barely resist it. With this mental crushing alone, those universe masters who have weaker willpower will be in agony. Lo Feng smiled. Even the minds of universe supreme masters can't resist it if they're attacked suddenly. The godly blood could be energized. It could be used to compromise supreme true treasures. It could be used to crush minds. Lo Feng couldn't do the first type, and the second type would be a waste. So the third type was the most suitable, and he had a teacher who was best at making true treasures in Universe Ocean. These are just my ideas. They might not be fulfilled, thought Lo Feng. I'm not able to make a valuable, I'll go back to the original universe, find Master Sitting Mountain Guest, and listen to what he has to say. Master Sitting Mountain Guest was the expert on it, so he could fully utilize this drop of blood. Z. Z. A drop of blood from a supreme being of the ancient civilization. A supreme being who could damage the complete six wings that were stronger than supreme beings. What an amazing being it was. No wonder even a single drop of blood contained such power. Lo Feng used his mind for communication. Shi Wu, I don't have many true treasures, and the precious material within the human race isn't enough, so I'll leave the golden horned beast with you. You can go to the deep area of Universe Ocean and get the valuables left by Jia Fanzi. Jia Fanzi is a lone universe supreme master. When he went to try the incarnations, he might only take supreme true treasures that are actually useful, or some valuables like pinnacle palace type true treasures. Jia Fanzi might leave more valuables there than the valuables left by the killed great beings from the Divine Eye Clan. Okay, quick, go. Shi Wu was excited. 
they separated halfway. Golden Horned Beast wore force armor and Shi Wu Wing to fly to the deep area of Universe Boat. He was also carrying Star Tower. With Star Tower, it was easy to get the valuables left by Gia Fanzi. As for the original Earthling body, he was wearing Crazy Demon Extermination Godly Armor. He was carrying the Blood Shadow Blade and Boat of Mausoleum and went back to the original universe. These two bodies were Lo Feng's main bodies. The original body had Blood Shadow Blade, so he was more powerful. As for the Golden Horned Beast body, he had Shi Wu Wing, which carried the origin that was Lo Feng's trump card. These two weren't even afraid of Universe Supreme Masters. Soon, Lo Feng arrived back at the original universe, and the seniors of the human race knew about it. Outside the huge axe godly palace in the virtual universe, the 19 universe masters and huge axe creator gathered there and were celebrating. Lo Feng came back to the original universe. He's safe now. Peng Gong master laughed. Beings from the other universe eras and the two holy lands couldn't enter the original universe. Besides, even Universe Supreme Masters can't use their power thoroughly in the original universe. With Lo Feng's power, he's able to fight them now. We humans will be booming now. Primal Chaos City leader was excited. Yes, we'll be the number one power in Universe Ocean in the future, said Void Gold Master. The seniors in the human race were all exhilarated. They feared that something might happen to Lo Feng when he came back. Fortunately, he arrived home safely. They could all see a thriving future for the human race. Chapter 1259. Do not come here. On the long stone table outside Hugh Axe's godly palace, Hugh Axe creator and 19 other universe masters gathered. Hugh Axe creator's gaze swept over the surroundings as his powerful voice boomed. We are here first to welcome Lo Feng and congratulate him on his safe return. Second, we are here to discuss the plan for our human race, rise in the universe ocean, rise. Hearing this word, everyone, including Lo Feng, Primal Chaos City Leader, Blackness Master, Void Gold Master, and Deserted Mirror Master, held their breath in excitement. Yes. Time to rise. In the original universe, the human race was considered a pinnacle race. But in the vast universe ocean, there were so weak that if they were in the first reincarnation, era or second reincarnation era, with only one universe supreme master leading the entire race, they would never qualify enough to be ranked as a pinnacle race. Even the seven supreme universe masters of the Divine Eye Clan were not worth a mention, as the pinnacle races from the first or second reincarnation era, on average, would have at least three to five universe supreme masters. The only presentable great being from the human race was Hugh Axe, who was, alone, an extremely powerful being. The other universe masters, within the universe ocean, were weak in power and small in number. This time around, the plan is to rise in Universe Ocean. Hugh Jack's creator was filled with excitement and expectation. Milky Way Horde leader shall lead. Everyone else must cooperate. We must breed more undying fighters, more Universe Knights, and more Universe Masters from our pool of humans. And from there, we can bring up more Universe Supreme Masters. Yes. Yes. Yes, one by one, clear and resounding responses were heard. The group of universe masters from humanity were full of hope for the future of their race, all of them filled with motivation. Furthermore, they had heard Lo Feng's preaching and were clearly aware that the ancient civilization had a systematic way of cultivation which was very useful. It would certainly be able to bring about developmental changes to the human race's capabilities. Besides, Lo Feng was very knowledgeable about the ancient civilization, and he was an heir of the pulse of Duan Dong River. He was the most suitable choice as leader. To choose someone who did not know much about the ancient civilization would be folly. I, Lo Feng. Lo Feng also stood up and looked around. Will do my utmost best, for we humans, to truly dominate Universe Ocean and become the top power of Universe Ocean, dominate the Universe Ocean.
everyone was going through an emotional moment, even Primal Chaos City leader and Hugh Jack's creator felt tremors in their hearts, least to mention the other universe masters, who were all burning with passion. There was a saying that went, a soldier who did not want to become a general was not a good soldier. Amongst close to 100 powers in Universe Ocean, did any not covet after the status of first within Universe Ocean? It was a luxury that existed in their wildest dreams, not in reality. In the past, who would have enough clout to make such a remark? Not a single being would dare say so. No clout. Even when Teacher Origin was still around, he alone was very powerful. No one had ever mentioned anything about the human race daring to dominate Universe Ocean or daring to become the top power. After all, in terms of power, when compared to the two Holy Land universes, the human race was far too inferior. The two Holy Land universes had several hundred universe masters. The human race only had 19, including Lo Fung. And they even had universe masters to be, because there was a limit to the number of universe masters the Holy Land universes could accommodate, they were not able to provide them with godly powers to achieve their breakthroughs. That was why, even if several universe masters from the two holy lands were to be annihilated, their vacancies would be filled up very quickly. Speaking of supreme true treasures, sixth-tiered universe masters of the two holy lands had quite a few. The human race? Not even one. Previously, even Hugh Jack's creator himself did not have one. Luckily, he had since gained his godly axe. Hugh Jack's creator's powerful voice was heard again, my human race will see the rise of a few hundred or even 1,000, universe masters, and we will see the rise of a dozen universe supreme masters. The two holy land universes shall not be able to hold a candle to us humans. How far we make it all depends on us. We are the heroes of our race. Let's work hard, everyone, for the future of our race. For the future of our race. For the future of our race. One after the other, the universe masters let out shouts of excitement. All of their hearts were trembling. Their hearts trembled because this goal was massive. So massive that in the past, they would not have dared make such claims. They would not have had the clout to do so. Yet now, Lo Feng had gained the inheritance of the pulse of Duan Dong River. This ancient inheritance gave them the confidence to desire to be the first in Universe Ocean. The human race would benefit greatly, and this would bring about an earth-shattering change. When the discussion ended, the other great beings left successively. Only Huge Axe Creator, Primal Chaos City Leader, and Lo Feng remained. Lo Feng, Huge Axe Creator was filled with anticipation. We have to trouble you during this period. Anything for our race, he said. Yes, for our race. Hugh Jacks nodded. There were two reasons why Lo Feng had started all of this after his return. Firstly, there were too many systems within the inheritance. The cultivation process was massive. Teaching and transmission of consciousness through the virtual universe was just too slow. Secondly, to cultivate the great beings who were going to take charge of the human's future, many items were required. For instance, ice mountains that contained law engravings. These could only be found within the space of inheritance, so Lo Feng had to bring them back. This time, our plan to rise will consist of two parts, Hugh Jack's creator said with a smile. The first part involves cultivating the individual power of our race's great beings. This will require time. The second part involves our supreme true treasures. You just returned to the original universe. When do you intend to make the deal with East Emperor Holy Land? I intend to set up the main framework for the various systems of cultivation within Primal Chaos City first, Lo Feng said. I think I will take around 10 days to half a month to complete everything. Then I will get in touch with East Emperor Holy Land. Mm. Hugh Jacks smiled. If I had known that you will be able to get these supreme true treasures, I would not have taken the risk and headed for Tilted Peak Sector. I am now rushing back from the core land of Tilted Peak Sector, but this core land is extremely dangerous, so I will need some time to rush back. All right, Hugh Jacks said. You and your teacher shall make the arrangements for matters regarding cultivation then.
Lo Feng and Primal Chaos City Leader departed without further ado. In the Primal Universe, Primal Chaos City, on the high grounds within City Leader Palace, Lo Feng and Primal Chaos City Leader stood by the railings where they had a bird's eye view of the countless buildings within Primal Chaos City. Lo Feng, this plan to rise is extremely important, Primal Chaos City Leader reminded him. The inheritance of that ancient civilization must never ever spread beyond our land. You will be leading the entire cultivation system, so you must be vigilant and take measures to prevent any leaked information, that is a given. Lo Feng smiled, with more and more great beings emerging within our human race, the other races and powers will naturally start to suspect something, which was why I chose Primal Chaos City as the cultivation land. It is safest here, where no other great beings would dare intrude. Besides, there are some things that even if a spy manages to catch a glimpse of, he will never be able to steal. For instance, the 300 ice mountains that I have prepared. Also, based on the different degrees and giftedness of individuals, I will prepare a more personalized cultivation method. The entire cultivation system was massive and complex. Other than the areas that involved items that Lo Feng had to prepare, there were also many other training methods that were placed within the virtual universe. Therefore, Lo Feng specially brought 12 memory stones back and placed them within the core area of the virtual universe that was located within the Primal Chaos City Leader Palace for the purpose of receiving the tremendous amount of information from the memory stones. Virtual Universe, Primal Chaos City, would be the main places allocated as the two major cultivation lands. Those in contact with confidential information were either the core higher-ups of the human race or the spiritual servants, and regardless of who it was, the amount of confidential information that every individual could get in touch with was only the tip of the iceberg. Only what the Virtual Universe acknowledged could truly become a system. And, of course, only Lo Feng knew the most. Original Universe, Milky Way Galaxy, Lo Feng's Godly Palace. I just returned from the original universe. Lo Feng held his transmission token and spoke into it. North True Star Master, fret not. The deal will take place soon. A message was sent from the virtual universe. It was from Primal Chaos City Leader. Lo Feng, quickly get to the virtual universe. Huh? What could be so urgent? When Lo Feng laid eyes on the mail that Primal Chaos City Leader sent, he found it to be blood red in color, representing a message of extreme urgency. Shua, from where he appeared in the virtual universe, Lo Feng saw Primal Chaos City Leader standing right ahead of him on the apex of Thunder Island. Teacher, Primal Chaos City Leader wore a heavy expression. The moment he saw Lo Feng, he said right away, let's go to Hugh Jax's palace. He gave no explanation. It was an endless darkness beneath the glimmer of the starry sky. On a floating piece of land, several figures appeared by the long table before Hugh Jax's godly palace. Lo Feng and Primal Chaos City Leader were the first to arrive. Teacher, what is going on? Lo Feng asked persistently. You will know in a while. Primal Chaos City Leader said in a dreary tone. Lo Feng secretly heaved a sigh of relief. It seemed like although the matter was extremely important, it was still within their control. If not, teacher would not have waited for every single universe master to arrive. Soon, the 19 universe masters were all gathered again. Wa, a lone figure appeared out of nowhere and positioned himself in the host seat. It was Hugh Jack's creator. Dear all, Hugh Jack's creator said, his gaze swept through all 19 universe masters. Everyone looked over, they had all been summoned here with a note of urgency. I met with some trouble, Hugh Jack's creator looked at the 19 top-notch beings of the human race, and, in a low voice, he continued, I was at the core ground of Tilted Peak Sector and met with trouble. The previous battle against Yuan Ao Master. That map that got leaked. Must have been a fake. The map is fake? Lo Feng was shocked. He had personally made the trip previously, and with Ice Mountain Master's help, he managed to seize a portion of that map. 
It was a trick, Hugh Jack's creator said solemnly, but the opponent did not expect my power to be so strong, which is why they suffered a loss. But during the fight, I was extremely unlucky to have fallen into the land of darkness of the core ground. Land of darkness. Everyone, including Lo Fung, revealed expressions of shock and anger. The most detailed map of the human race that was shared by all had been mainly contributed by Lo Fung, so naturally, he would be the one who knew it the best. The land of darkness was a most terrifying domain within the core region of Tilted Peak Sector. Compared to it, other regions within the universe boat, like the so-called Flame Ice region and God-Destroying Valley, were merely child's play. Every being knew that any place within that core region was much more terrifying than Flame Ice region. Moreover, they were now talking about the Land of Darkness, which was well known even to the other places among the core region itself. The danger it contained, though extremely terrifying, was still considered mid-range within the core region. However, of those who had fallen into the land of darkness, none had ever emerged again. It was a prison of despair. The land of darkness, said Hugh Jack's creator, although those who have fallen into it were all universe supreme beings, I have never heard of any who made it out of there. Hugh Jack's creator's gaze swept through the 19 universe masters, and he solemnly continued, Firstly, the number of universe supreme masters who have fallen into the land of darkness was very few to begin with, but the small number cannot explain much about the place. Secondly, I am different from any ordinary universe supreme master. I am not trapped in the land of darkness, unable to get out for the time being. But so long as we keep mum about this, no one besides us will know. I need time to slowly figure a plan to get out. During this period, my human race must maintain a lower profile. Hugh Jack's creator was very solemn as he instructed. Teacher origin has been suppressed, and I am trapped. There is no universe supreme master to lead our race for the time being. This is very dangerous. Make sure this news does not leak out. One by one, the universe masters replied. Understood. Understood. Everyone was clear about the severity of the situation. Without a universe supreme master in the lead, this news spelled great trouble. I am giving my best now, Hugh Jack's creator said with a serious expression. No distractions. If there is nothing important, do not contact me. Then he vanished into thin air. Before Hugh Jack's godly palace, 19 of the top beings of the human race were seated around the long table, looking at one another with hearts filled with worry. The land of darkness. What if Hugh Jack's creator was unable to return forever? What should they do? Without a universe supreme master in the lead, the human race would meet with a lot of trouble in the future. The news about Hugh Jacks being trapped must not be leaked out beyond us. Primal Chaos City leader spoke up. This news will be classified as confidential, top secret. Lo Fung and the others nodded solemnly. Suddenly, just as Primal Chaos City leader, Darkness Master, Lo Fung, and the rest were feeling frustrated, Hugh Jack's creator suddenly reappeared in the host seat by the long stone table. In his eyes, there was shock and anger as he roared repeatedly, Remember, do not come to the land of darkness. Do not come here. Hong. The figure disappeared. Wah! Wow. All 19 of them, including Lo Fung, jumped to their feet as they felt something ominous. What's wrong? What did Hugh Jack's creator meet with? Why did he disappear after saying that? Everyone was panicking. Merely a few seconds later, Void Gold Master's expression betrayed shock and fear as he said in a piercing voice, Hugh Jack's miniature universe is starting to fall apart. Hugh Jax was annihilated. His universe is falling apart? Hugh Jax was annihilated. Everyone grew frantic. Lo Fung, Primal Chaos City leader, Darkness Master, and the rest rose to their feet. One by one, they all fell into a state of momentary shock from the sudden news that had just hit them. This was a nightmare, a nightmare for the entire human race. Lo Fung, Primal Chaos City leader, Darkness Master, Void Gold Master, Pung Gong Master, Remote Lord Master, Ching Dong Master, and the rest were worried, furious, and dumbfounded.
The only universe supreme master of humanity who was capable of leading the race had fallen. The skies had truly collapsed over humanity. Chapter 1260. Humans. Hugh Jack's universe was one of the two miniature universes owned by humans. Teacher origin had been suppressed a long time ago, so the primal universe didn't change completely. Not many humans lived in the primal universe. Instead, the peerless talents and great beings gathered in the primal universe. As for Hugh Jack's universe, it had changed completely, so many ordinary life forms lived there. What happened? The sky is cracked. In an area in Hugh Jack's universe, the families of Hugh Jack's dojo and the elites were all panicked. The peaceful sky suddenly had a giant crack in it. The sky started to collapse, space trembled, and there were occasionally space cracks. Some unlucky humans lost half their bodies or were even annihilated. Hong. Long. Long. The land started to crack. Quick, quick. Everyone, gather. Don't act alone. An emperor looked anxious and put the humans inside his world ring by teleporting time and time. Again. Inside the space were 12 universe knights and 399 emperors who could perform teleportation. They were all putting the human elites back into their world rings. And Hong was one of them. Brother, the space is crumbling. Quick, take the elites of our race and go to the main space. Be quick. The voice of Hong's brother, Tai Bi Knight, was still echoing in his ears. He was a disciple of Hugh Jack's creator. Yes, said Hong. One teleportation after another, he put a great many human elites into his world ring. But Hong was worried, anxious, and terrified. The keepsake left by my teacher now has no owner, said Hong, horrified. This is left by my teacher with my teacher's life imprint on it, yet it doesn't have an owner anymore. This miniature universe belongs to my teacher, but now, it's starting to crumble. Did teacher really die? Hong grew even more anxious. He knew how important his teacher Hugh Jack's creator was to the human race, as he was their only universe supreme master. He was the cornerstone of the human race. Yet the cornerstone was gone now. They were all fleeing. Hong put the most important elites in the world ring one by one. As for those less important, before they could even take half of them, they heard an order. Go to the main space now. Otherwise, you will no longer be able to leave. Everyone, everyone, quick. The universe knights and emperors took a look at the humans who were being crushed. They were screaming, help us, help us, no fan he clan. Take us, please, take my child. However, those emperors and universe knights didn't hesitate, as they were carrying the most important elites. If they weren't decisive enough, they, along with those elites, wouldn't be able to make it. Shua, Shua, Shua. From the crumbling area, Hong and the others fled to the main space. After only a few seconds, the crumbling spread to the portal. Hong saw three towering beings after entering the main space. They were Void Gold Master, Lan Kang Master, and Ancestral Tree Knight. Quick, quick, Void Gold Master and Lan Kang Master were both Universe Masters from Hugh Jack's dojo, while Ancestral Tree Knight was a top-tier Universe Overlord, so they could survive even if the miniature universe crumbled and the Chaos Airflow penetrated the miniature universe. However, many Universe Knights and Undying Fighters couldn't survive in Universe Ocean. Come in, gather. Void Gold Master gave an order. He teleported again and again and took away all the Emperors and Universe Knights. Hong arrived at the main space and was taken into the World Ring by Void Gold Master. Everything changed. Almost 1,000 humans stood on the plane. They all looked horrified, as they couldn't believe what had just happened. Brother, Tai B Knight stood beside Hong and transmitted his voice to him. Did the keepsake our teacher gave you change? Hong nodded. Still an object without any owner. Same here. Tai B Knight looked upset. Did teacher just? He's so powerful. He's a universe supreme master. The spaces in the miniature universe, including the main space, started to crumble. Hong also looked upset. 
teacher inside the main space of huge axe universe void gold master land king master an ancestral tree knight stood in the sky and the membrane of the miniature universe already showed cracks the chaos airflow penetrated the small universe it was the purest chaos airflow unlike that of the primal universe quick let's go to other spaces and see whether we can save more or not ordered void gold master yes let's go they separated and teleported to one space after another it was urgent so they saved the elites first the elites were those selected from the original universe they had great potential so they were saved first and then the families were saved those families were of the universe masters or universe knights of huge axe dojo hong long the land with a diameter of 100 billion kilometers started to collapse and the space fragments were detached some of the space fragments contained lands where humans were struggling when they saw the towering void gold master show up they were excited void gold master teleported and moved forward trying to save those humans on the space fragments on the independent dimension of the virtual universe, on the two sides of the bench in front of Hugh Jack's godly palace, the universe masters sat down, looking solemn. Each of the universe masters could feel the terrifying pressure. Void gold. How's Hugh Jack's universe? asked Primal Chaos City leader. Void gold master sighed. We could only save the undying fighters, universe knights and the important elites. As for the others, we can only save part of them. Lan Kang, Ancestral Tree Knight, and I are still saving them, but only a small number can survive. Elites are the ones that really matter. Primal Chaos City leader nodded. Huge Axe Universe started to crumble, and those who die are only a small loss to us humans. However, if we can't cope with it well, we'll suffer billions of times worse. Lo Feng was horrified. What should they do? Without question, the death of Huge Axe is catastrophic to us, said Primal Chaos City leader. The map is fake. Who set this whole thing up? Why did Huge Axe die so quickly in Land of Darkness? These are all mysteries. I know that you all want to figure it out and avenge Huge Axe. However, for us humans, we need to put it behind first. Finding out the murders and means of revenge, these are things to do later. Do you all understand? Primal Chaos City leader looked around the universe masters present. We do. The fate of humans is the most important now. Though we all want to figure it out, we're not powerful enough. Even if we figure out who, we can't do anything about it. The universe masters all nodded. They were all the top seniors of the human race. They had Hugh Axe Creator protect them before, so things were easy for them. Yet Hugh Axe Creator was dead now. They needed to deal with everything themselves. They needed to think from the standpoint of the entire human race. Okay, Primal Chaos City leader said, relieved. It was important to stick together. Hugh Axe died. The small universe started to crumble, and lots of beings within our race know about it. As for other races like the bug race, the automaton race, and the demon race, they all have spies within our race, so they'll know about it in no time. Besides, great beings go on adventures in Universe Ocean, and it won't take a long time for them to know that Hugh Axe universe has crumbled. Okay, they all nodded. They understood that within the human race, some spies had their souls controlled. And in Universe Ocean, it wouldn't take long for the Universe Masters to notice that Huge Axe Universe had crumbled. Then they would all know that Huge Axe Creator had died. A Universe Supreme Master is extremely important to a race, said Primal Chaos City Leader. They can control a vast area, and they can show up in lots of places in no time. They can revive universe overlords, as well. Without a universe supreme master, a race can't even protect itself. We occupy an important territory, so there's no way the other races will not be tempted. The bug race, the demon race, the automaton race, and the humans. These four races occupied the best area of the universe. Beings born in this area had greater potential, just like the desert area sitting mountain guests lived in couldn't breed any living beings. Even though the original universe was enormous, some territories could breed lots of great beings while others couldn't, which was why there were struggles. 
the four pinnacle races occupied the best four areas. Besides, territory struggles never end, said Primal Chaos City leader. Lo Feng received the Duan Dong River inheritance. That was okay when Hu Jax was here, but now, Hu Jax has died. Who doesn't want the inheritance of Duan Dong River? We must prepare for war. Remember, when Hu Jax died, we humans were forced into a different era. A more difficult era, 